the actor screen and then players, you can actually click on the Ascension and you can see cargo and crew in one of the tabs. It's true. You guys have a boat. We are a which, boat, uh, man. Which, which, which thing is this in? in? In Forge, it's the third tab from the left. It's called Actors Directory. In the Players folder, once you're oh, there. Oh, OK. I needed to click Players. That's all. All right. Yep. Sweet. Yeah, and I lied. I don't have full permissions. I just can see like the basic details of the ship. OK, good. Good. Yeah, you should have visibility, but you cannot oh, change anything. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. I don't need to actually write this down. I probably will anyway, but. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Is everybody in game? <coughs> See. Everybody ready to go? Yeah. All right. You all are on your airship, which you have uh, kind of dubbed the Ascension. Oh, does it only fly 30? I thought it would fly faster than a horse. It's relatively slow. That's like walking speed. Well, yeah, if, if you would like to compare it to uh, a ship, it is faster than a ship, but slower than uh, something that is native to flying. Hmm. Okay, noted. There are um, faster airships available. You'll just have to do more work for it. This is your base class, <clears throat> excuse me, base class airship. And you can improve it how you like. If it is too <laughs> slow for you, you can put money into it and make it faster. Can yeah. we buy some Nas for it? <laughs> <laughs> I think if we just paint it red, that should make it go considerably faster. That's probably true. Yeah, now, yeah that, okay. that sounds like sound science. You have a massive power source in your airship. It's called Lakara's Winter Heart. The problem is harnessing it in a safe way in order to not, well, cause great magical destruction to you and yours, to put it lightly. How much damage do our ballistas and mangonels hmm. do? You don't have they any. We don't have any. Oh, they're pictured, but we don't have them. Yep. They they were pictured on the previous screen, but notice You have quantity zero. Here. Yep. You took them away? How dare you? No, you just didn't pay for any yet. This Look at this guy. He's like, I'll take the base model airship. And he's like, but what about the upgrades? Yeah, the, the, the upgrades. No. The one, the one that, <laughs> that Morris walked us around on while we were still docked was totally like the showroom floor, like fully upgraded, like all the options. <laughs> it's like buying airship. a motorhome. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, this is this is what you could have. But here, we're <laughs> over the where the shitty one over here on the end. But wow. I don't want to go into the rest of I don't want to go into debt for the rest of my life to buy this. Uh, well, this wasn't Animal Crossing slash Darkest Dungeon for nothing. <laughs> AC does yeah, not come noted. standard. Yes. Oh. Hi. Welcome. I'm uh, Tom, Tom Nook. Nook. Yeah. <laughs> we and have a tape deck. We don't have a CD player. Yeah. So, all right, here we go. Click. Hit it. Da, 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 da. That's you, you actually have to push the button. Rewind. All right. At least and you can make with that stage. recap. Let us begin. That was a very good recap. That was a lot. Thanks. Good, I actually excellent. had to like think about what we did for the last two entire games. Uh, so your airship, forgive me, is going towards back towards Rhymefang's lair. And as you were going, uh, as it was going towards Rhymefang's lair on the back of Prismata, there's a bit of rain and clouds that seem to pick up, drenching the airship as you fly along in the bitter cold. It is not as terrible as it was the first time around, uh, when you had the magical winds kind of... Sorry, I heard a door open. I had to look. Was it, was it a Kashiba? It's a Kashiba. Uh, so the magical winds that Rhymefang was creating to protect his lair are no longer there. <clears throat> but the Arctic winds are still just as dangerous. And Flix, it will be very difficult for you to uh, fly outside of the airship. Yeah, I need to get some kind of magic item that cuts through all of that nonsense. Yeah, it's Maybe. called walking. <laughs> this damn. Christina specifically imposes to limit this ridiculous power of yours, and you're like, nah, I need to find something <clears throat> to get around these limitations. <laughs> there will uh, there will be some times where flying is good, and sometimes where flying will just not be not be allowed. 
or it's uh, like Final very Fantasy, limited. though. There's always some dumb magic item that I can get to get around the environmental restrictions. Of course, of course. Good for you. It builds character. Uh, and leg walking, muscles. Walking literally affects <laughs> Flix's self-esteem negatively. <laughs> he has skipped leg day for a long time. Wow. Oh. Hate to see it. And you, you all are jolted quads. awake it's, from uh, your short rest by a large thunderclap. And including you, young stowaway in the bottom of the ship. Uh, really? Meanwhile, in the bottom of <laughs> meanwhile in the airship hole. One second. <clears throat> that fire harken already. Not even day one. <laughs> Fucked up, man. You're just like out to get harkened. You can't control. Yeah, I mean, he has one job on this yeah, shit. Yeah, he has one job, and he's already failed. So yeah, making sure Christina doesn't add more people to the campaign. What's his job? God. <laughs> his contract started at a very specific point. Listen, there's a lot of racism against bugbears in this game, Trevor. You just need to be aware of this. Uh, are you playing a bugbear, Trevor? <laughs> we'll see. <All> right. <laughs> Saithus. Uh, how do you, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, Saithias. But yeah, no one's. Saithius. 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 Can you? Can you? No, no, no. Is that? Is that, is that so that... I can see it. Yeah. Say it again. Say it again. Saithius. Saithius. Okay. You are jolted awake by the sound of a thunderclap, and you notice the airship that you are on is rocking in the wind. You're surrounded by a plethora of crates, barrels, ropes. And each of these things filled with relatively mundane and boring goods. Ball bearings, leathers, cloth, rope, more ball bearings. Why does anybody need this many ball bearings? <laughs> you're not quite sure where you're at, but you definitely know you're airborne as you can feel a bit of wind sifting through the cracks of the boards of the ship. Aside from the sound of the thunder outside, you can hear the sound of voices from the other side of the wall. One, masculine, a bit raspy, and seemingly upset at everything. <laughs> uh, the other, uh, a bit more higher-pitched, frantic, unsure, but they're muffled. I can't really make out what they're saying. What do you do? Saithia so very quietly um, moves to the back corner of this storeroom, shuffles some boxes around, and tries to make a tiny space that he can kind of huddle as far back. So if anyone comes in this room, he's able to be out of sight as much as possible. Um, but other than that, he just tries to stay as still and as quiet as possible. Make me a stealth check with advantage, please. Do I need to do a control or just roll twice? Uh, I believe it is shift click, but you can roll twice since you rolled already. Look at you handing out advantage like it's free. Oh. 28. You pull the barrels into a very nice formation and compounding that with the crate, you've created a very good little hidey hole for yourself. And you could probably just sit in here the whole time and be relatively safe, you think. But your stomach tells you another. How long has it been since you've eaten last, Saithius? The sound of clanging pots in the kitchen, or whatever galley is on this ship, makes your stomach growl once more. Perhaps it wouldn't be so bad to sneak a bite to eat. What do you knows that it's been a long time since he's had a real meal. Um, pulls out from his, his makeshift little bucket of stuff, uh, a stone pot, and his shivering, still cold hands are trying to kind of pull some, some extra kindling and, and form a little bit of a fire. But as he tries to strike uh, the flint that he has, it's just not catching. Um, so he, he sets his little stone pot back into its holding place and quietly gets up and despite his better judgment, uh, sneaks 
towards the door as quietly as he possibly can. As I get to the door, I try to check the latch to see if it's um, something I can open or just see what I can tell about it before I actually move anything around. Uh, the door is currently locked, but you can open it from your side. It is more meant to keep people out rather than people in. Looking at the door itself, is, is there a gap between the door and the, the frame that a small rodent could fit through? There is. In fact, about a one inch gap. Okay, I, I note that, but uh, before doing anything, I kind of put my ear to the door and listen to see if those masculine voices are close or maybe on the other side of the ship. Make me a perception check, please. All right. You hear not the masculine voices, but a soft snoring coming from a room to the west. You think okay. that that space, probably uh, <clears throat> in this area, to the north and to the left of you, uh, is some kind of barracks, and someone is sleeping there. And Sounds by the, normal. By the judge of their snores, they are out like a light. Um, with with heart racing, um, he decides to take the risk and open the door. Uh, so unlatches it, unlocks it, and opens it very, very slowly so he can peek around. All right. <clears throat> As you peek through the door, you see before you a table with various stools surrounding it and some half-discarded old tea, bits of bread, and a jug of water across from you, a shelf, a couple barrels you can see just in the top right-hand corner of the room, and now directly into the right as you've stepped inside, some plates loading merrily in a bucket of water waiting to be washed. Uh, there are five doors in this room, and you've surmised that someone is sleeping to your left. So very quickly, dart forward, grab all the uh, food items from the table, and dart back into the storage room. You acquire uh, some cold tea and old bread. Perfect. Favorite meal. Uh, yeah, close the door and lock it again. Get back to my little hidey hole and enjoy my spoils. Right. You settle down for your bite to eat. And you hear footsteps approaching in the galley. Thump, thump. Ugh, man. Ugh, I, this is, this is the worst. Why did I ever agree to this? You hear a, a disgruntled masculine voice right after you've entered uh, the eating area entered right after you. And you hear the sound of the, the stool kind of creak under the weight of whoever's sitting down there. <sighs> All right, I guess I better I get this over with. Hey, uh, Morris! Morris! What? I, food's ready. Oh, nice, okay. All right, I'm gonna tell everybody else. Uh, meanwhile, up on the airship deck. Oh. More thunder and lightning as the rain comes down. What are you all doing, Flick, Sakashiba, and Rain? Frank is stretching. Ah! What a nice nap. Rain is just getting up from her short rest. Uh, you wake up just in time to see Frank exit your door and shut it behind him. Great. What are you doing out here? Why are you what? wandering around, Frank? Oh, I 
Hey, Akashava, how you doing? It is very loud lightning and you are wandering around. Again, why are you wandering around? Uh, well, you see, uh, I live here now. Frank what? hops on the bed. Why are you living here now? Bounce, bounce. <laughs> Wee! Rain, why? Akashiba looks and, and points still at Frank as he's looking at Rain. Rain, why is Frank living here? Well, I mean, he's been living in my backpack for like the last two weeks, so. Akashiba makes a confused face and looks over at Frank. Frank, do you have a job here or are you just freeloading? Uh... Oh, that's a good idea. We should get him a job. Wait, what? No, I'm, I'm freeloading. Yeah, it was. What kind of job does Skeleton do? Frank, what kind of job could you even do? Oh, I'm really incompetent at, at everything. Yeah, see, you're very incompetent, right? Why would we give him a job? He would only fail. Well, he could certainly assist in arcane experiments as test subject. Shar looks over. Oh, arcane experiments. Uh, like lethal experiments, you say? Uh... Uh, or uh, maybe maybe I could uh, uh, clean or um, um, uh, keep the papers dry. Cleaning uh -huh. sounds cleaning sounds much better. Well, he looks. But after the snap, he lies down in the bed. How do you nap? You are a skeleton. Why would you? Do you get tired? N no. But I like, <laughs> I like the way the, the blanket feels. Akashua walks over and like, like he's going to reach and drag Frank out of the bed, but then like kind of like his hand stops short. No, get out of bed and get out and help or everyone has to do part on ship. No time for a nap. <sighs> Frank sighs and hops out of bed. Char beckons him closer. Uh, Frank, come, come here. Ah, yes. Uh, Rain, were the arcane experiments off the table? I mean, not necessarily. Ah! I don't have any in mind right this moment, but, you know, we can stick a pin in it. I'll go, I'll go clean! Uh, Frank runs off, slamming the doors behind him. Well, that should do it. Uh, honestly, Akasha, what kind of trouble could Frank get into on the airship? Uh, Frank is not literally how you say trustworthy individual thus far. He's been caught in multiple lies and uh, how to say a skeleton. I don't, I don't have a lot of trust for skeleton to begin with. Oh, I see. Ah, that Frank. Ah. Uh, Harkin opens the door. Uh. Is there a reason why they're the skeleton just walked by me? No, I say I asked the same question. Everyone seems to think this is normal. Is that Frank? Why is he here? He's been here the whole time. Oh, I didn't take it. Uh, all right, listen. I made dinner. Harkin extends his oh. arms. Yeah. Oh, I, great. I mean, I don't really have anything to guard while we're up in the air, so I figured I'd treat everybody to some bugbear delicacies. Oh, what did you make, Harkin? <laughs> well, let's go! Let's go see! Oh, I am excited. This is just news I need. Oh, I am... Hmm. Char gives Rain a sidelong glance. Uh, I don't know. Uh, knock, knock, knock. Flix. Flix. Yes, hello. Flix um, is playing cards with his own shadow. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry to interrupt, but Harkin has made dinner. No, it's fine. He was winning anyway. <laughs> uh, Sharp pets the pets the shadow. Nice kitty. It leans into it nicely, and then reattaches to Flix's feet and goes two dimensional. Well, come on. Uh, Harkin is going to kill us with some bugbear specialties. Uh, how do I get rid of my characters once I? Uh, you can click on it and then hit delete. Uh, I did that. Delete does not work. No, you have to get it. I got it. Oh, there it goes. All right, I nice. got it. All right, Frank. You're cleaning the dishes. Oh. Everyone do their part, Frank. Oh, hello, Frank. Glad to see you out and about. Ah. How are you feeling? 
I, I, I am happy to exist. All right, uh, loading the whole of your ship. Stop that music. All right, adding rain to the map, boop. Adding flicks to the map, boop. As you all make your way downstairs, Kashaba, adding you to the map. Somebody's music is playing. It is a Kashaba's, I believe. Oh, hold on, wait, this is better. Yeah, yes. Good. Great. So every time we switch music, it, it resets to this louder volume, just so you're aware. So you may have to remind me. Oh, okay. Akashba frowns as Lakaris as they pass by. The Lakaris crystal thrums. I pat it fondly as I flip past. All right, everybody, uh, take your seats. So you cooked this, Harkin? Uh, yep, sure did. I'm intrigued. You should be intrigued and excited. In fact, bugbear delicacies, uh, y you know, revolve around a lot of meat preparation. Da. Oh, I am excited then. Slaps a, a hand to his chest. However, uh, you know, we didn't have a huge supply of meat, so I, I made, I made do. Uh, Arkin cleans, <laughs> cleans up the plates. Wait, hold on. Don't we have a skeleton for this, Frank? We should have had a lot of meat since Flix, uh, is primarily carnivorous himself. Uh, Sayuthius, you hear... A lot of commotion on the other side of the wall. And the voices are starting to become a lot clearer now. And the things that are, uh, the people are saying, you can overhear if you like. The walls are thin here. I just Heart try to stay as still as possible, despite having an unshakable cold. Harkin looks down at the plate. Hmm. Maybe No was hungry. Oh yeah, door. where is No? Oh, he jams a finger towards this door. He's in the galley. I want Frank handling food? Is that? Can we make not that? That cannot happen. Huh? You you mean you don't want Frank to touch the food? I don't think he eats. No, I I mean like not handle like put bony hands on on food. It seems. He, he's hey, here I'm... to clean, Akashiba. No, it's fine. If he takes place, I'm just saying, don't want him bringing don't the food. Stop being so rude. How am I being rude? Why would you want skeleton all over your food? Why would it? It's got lots of germs. And and bugbears don't? Hey! Oh, hey. What? That's insulting. Don't be racist to what? bugbear. Did, What's that necessary? Germ? You're insulting two races at the same time, Rain? It's impressive. With you. What's a germ? Oh, it's, it's like my mentor once told me that uh, all of our bodies make yuck. And if uh, sometimes we make yuck and it's bad for each other. So like if I put my yuck on you, Flix, uh, you may turn into bugbear. I don't see that that would be a particularly bad thing, but Why is, okay, I'm reasonably on. sure I'm immune to yuck in general. <laughs> oh. Wow. Akashba, uh, Akashba does whatever that flood noise was. <laughs> Come here, Flix. Flix, I'm going to turn you into bugbear. Um, all right. This should be interesting. Akashima stares like he wasn't expecting that, and then, like, kind of, like, visibly swallows. Flix, like, Flix climbs up onto the table and, like, walks over to you, spreads his arms, and is like, Oh, right, do it. No, it's, you are probably better the way you are. But my point is... I mean, obviously, but I'm willing to experiment. Obviously, the point is, uh, Frank has germs that could turn us into skeletons. What? I don't, I don't think that's how that works, Akashiba. I mean, if you think about it, already skeleton inside you, so it's easier than you think. Wait, I don't, these germ things sound made up, to be I, perfectly honest. Oh my god, there's a skeleton inside me right now! Oh, Harkin, it's your skeleton, though. He's fine. Oh, oh, oh. 
Yeah, you are in control of Interstellar. It helps you walk. <laughs> oh, I was freaking out for a second there. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, he holds out a plate of what appears to be heaped up barbecue. Uh, I hope nobody minds pork. Oh, hell yes. He, I grab the ah. plate and sling it onto the table and then immediately grab something enormous and start shoving it into my face. Uh, Flix, make me a constitution saving throw. Oh, Flix, it is so salty. Oh, God. It's so salty. Oh, God, it, it's absolutely sucking the magical essence out of you. Good oh, lord, honestly, what's worse than I this press the, the digitate the salt away. Mm. A little too much salt, Arkin. Arkin, it like... Should be, it has been adjusted to Epicurean levels, fortunately. Uh, the meat itself is prepared excellently, though. Oh, uh, thanks. I, uh, we're used to salting our meat, so it lasts a lot longer. I guess you don't need to salt it before you barbecue it, huh? <laughs> A modicum. A certain amount. You try, though. Thank you, Argan. I will take some. As I said, the meat itself is prepared excellently, though. It's wonderfully tender. It is wonderfully tender, isn't it, Christina? Oh, it's it's a, it's a bit dry. But if you want to no. blow smoke up his ass, you can. No, no. He's the security chief, not the cook. <laughs> you know, all in all, it's... It's dry, there's no sauce, could use a bread, too salty. This belongs in a ration. And not on a plate. Uh, Flix, being excellent at being nice to people when he wants to, finds the most diplomatic possible way to say all of this. An excellent first effort, obviously, we have a little bit of a way to go. Uh, so, since we actually have active stores and not rations, that means that you have additional options. You don't need to prepare it as if it's for the field. We can prepare it in such a way that we can enjoy it. Like a gourmet meal. Huh? So that means you can take a little bit longer to cook it. You can adjust the oven so that they cook low and slow rather than char in the outside. You can have a little bit less salt. You can experiment with other herbs. You may find that you like it. Harkin, his ears kind of go down and the gears in his head are turning. Cook it for longer. Got it. Ah, uh, but with less heat. Ah, uh, this is complicated. The fire just cooks it. Why can't I just put it on the fire? <laughs> and don't get upset. You did good first try. Akashiba, like, downs it in one bite. Harkin, like, sl like, slams a fist on the table and one of the teacups, like, pops up off the table and breaks. Oh, no, oh, man, uh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm Frank, Frank, he points at the teacup. Now, let's be clear. Frank is not a slave. Don't order him around. Uh, Frank is picking up the broken pieces of the teacup. Well, I mean, he's the perfect person to pick up the teacup. I mean, it's not like he could cut his hands. Thank you, Frank. That's true. That's true. Frank picks well, up the shirt. That is a, a valid point. I suspect that you don't actually enjoy hook, cooking, Harkin. Ugh. He looks dejected and slumps on the stool. No, I'm <sighs> trying to impress you. Well, we appreciate your enthusiasm, don't we, gentlemen and lady? Z very good effort. Maybe we should find a uh, uh, Harkin. Let me, let me, let me give you an idea here. What if we find a professional cook to join ship, and then you don't have to? Actually, that reminds me, Frank. Didn't uh -huh. you say you cook? Uh, y you know, you know. Previously, I have cooked. Yeah. I, I think I could. You know replicate even though I can't taste smell uh touch really have any judge of heat uh yeah I think I could do it on the upside you're less likely to burn yourself that's true and you know what I could even he looks at his own hand I'm my own fork 
Uh, <laughs> yes, but I prefer you use actual utensils while cooking. We'll we'll take shifts cooking until we find somebody that uh, is most well suited to the task and enjoys oh. it. After Speaking all, of joy adds savor to any labor, doesn't it? Uh, Sayuthius, you you see a skeleton enter the door, and he has what appears to be one arrow sticking out of his head and another sticking out of his neck. Yeah, I'm uh. trying to find the button that we talked about yesterday uh, for my ability, because I would immediately start doing something as soon as I, I saw the door opening. Uh, okay, uh, do, are you trying to wild shape? Yes, I am. Uh, what shape would you like to be in? My cat. All right, I shall cat you one moment. Oh. Wild shape. Oh, sorry, you're a little small. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does the the super tiny cat. Uh, we go. Let's get one to one. Oop. All right. Cat. Yeah, and uh, seeing a skeleton walk through the door, that's definitely not what I was expecting. Um, but I am certainly going to try to stay as silent and still. All right. Speaking of roles on the ship, Harkin, and uh, speaking as uh, the only member of the group who apparently was subject to an attempted assassination on our way to our airship, uh, did we do a security sweep to make sure there was nothing, you know, dangerous stowed away? Why would there be anything dangerous stowed away, Ray? We recovered this ship directly from the docks. The docks are a perfectly safe place. Well, I mean... You are awfully suspicious of the goblins loading supplies, as a point of example. That kobold seemed to be perfectly adept at sneaking about in uh, the customs area. Oh, right. Yes, we should actually be incredibly suspicious. Harkin, did we do a security sweep? Uh, Harkin... Oh! Oh, yeah, of course. I, um... Uh... So maybe we should do one now, then. Hey, it doesn't hurt to do another one. Come on, Harkin, we'll do it together. Oh, all right. All right, all right. Well, what, what, listen, we, the best yeah, thing Harkin, about sweep... Harkin was lying his face off about doing the security sweep, right? Yeah, he was oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah of, of course, course I did. Um, it's like, yeah, of course. Uh, Harkin, do you... You seemed really excited about joining the crew. Do you actually want to be here? We don't want to force you to do something that you don't want to do. I... I of course I of course want to be here. This is this is, is great. Again? <laughs> this is uh this is adventure. Um, I just I he kind of leans forward into you a little bit. I just have no idea what I'm doing. Well, that's fine. Do you think any of us have any idea what we're doing ninety percent of the time? Well, okay. Well, what is it? What is a chief of security supposed to do? Like, listen, I sniff out and uh, well. I, I, I guess I prioritize trying to get you guys fed rather than trying to keep you guys safe. Well, let's see. If I were performing that role, um, I'd ensure that all the sensitive parts of the ship were patrolled regularly and checked to ensure that they weren't damaged or sabotaged. Um, I'd ensure that if there were any weapons or other dangerous materials on the ship, that they were locked until needed. Um, uh -huh. Harkin's like nodding, taking notes mentally. Ensure and, there are uh, no I'd packages be... that aren't on the manifest, those types of things. Although that's also quartermasterly sort of things to do, I imagine. Um, and uh, in the event of any sort of incursion, the security chief would be right there at the front lines fighting along our side. Oh, okay. That last part. Yeah, that last part I'm in. 100%. Uh, the well, counting... it's sort of all of it, actually. Not oh. every job is fun from top to bottom. I mean, don't get me wrong, I avoid every job that I possibly can that isn't fun from top to bottom, but, well, you know how it is. Uh, huh. Tap puts puts hands a plate of food to no, and then comes back out and closes the door again. <laughs> no, eats it while sleeping. <laughs> Uh, All right, Akashiba well, follows Frank into here. Oh, hey, Akashiba. Frank, did you check this room for problems? Uh, de define problem. I'm trying to find the teacups. 
like stowaways or you know assassins or you know Honestly, general. Why would we have stowaways? Uh, Kashba, make me a perception check. Uh, Cat, make me a stealth check. <laughs> uh, Kashba, you you look around this area of the ship and. Yeah, you know, there's barrels piled in the corner, there's sacks everywhere, some rope, uh, all the basics that you would need for a, a basic shop, uh, as Rain wanted. As Rain wanted? So, yeah, didn't you ask for, uh, like, you wanted everything that a basic shop would potentially have in the, in the prow? Uh... I, I vaguely remember somebody asking for that, but that wasn't rain. Oh, sorry. But but, but yeah, sounds you, good. Basic shop goods are in the front. Well, cool. uh, well okay, here, here Kasha, but why don't you help me find the teacups? To look for threats, you deal with teacups. Oh. I'm oh, crying out loud, Akashaba. What? That room, I looked it over. That room is fine. Hi, Frank. I'll help you find teacups. Hi, Rain. Yeah, I just want to replace the one that Harkin accidentally broke. Uh, uh, Rain, make me a perception check. It. We should be enjoying a meal together, not roaming around the ship. Life was in danger before. It makes good sense to do full check. Uh, Rain, you spot the very tip of a white and black tail in the corner, cowered behind some barrels. Dun, 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 dun. And this one? Frank opens one of the crates. Hello there. Who are you? Huh? Oh, you're cute, aren't you? Wait, what's cute? <laughs> Come here, little guy. Frank, go give me a little scrap there. of that meat huh? from the from the plate. Go give me a little scrap of that of whatever that was. Okay. Pork. Frank grabs oh, pork. A feline. I'm Prince of you, you know. Hello. Ah! A cat! It's a... Frank okay, jumps on the barrel. Cats? What is Frank, wrong Frank. with you? Here, hand me, hand, me the, hand me the meat, Frank. Uh, cat, if you would like to... Oh, no, the cat oh. is escaped! Oh, no. <laughs> no! Wait. Flix, you're terrible. You've ruined everything. Wait. Cats normally love me. Ah! I don't know what's going on. The cat went that way. Like, Wait. they adore me. I missed it. I don't know... Where did it go? <laughs> did someone bring pet? Uh, cow, cow, and our cat's going upstairs. Do that cat hold ass? Harkin, <laughs> we do have a stowaway. A cute one. Come find it. Uh, I will swoop down and capture the cat. Uh, I will stop for just a moment. Uh, full, uh, cat, what's your move? Oh, so, okay, so I moved, uh, 40 feet per second, but I stayed on the, the same floor as this, so I didn't go up the stairs, I just tried to cower behind the stairs. Uh, I could <laughs> easily have double move? the cat with, yeah, 90, like with, with rogue bonus actions, I can move 90 around. All right. Cat! Uh, oh yeah, I'm sprinting, I'm at 80, so you'd still definitely catch up to me. Cat, you are fast, but the flying fairy is faster. Flix, you are attempting to grapple the cat. Oh, uh, gently. Please. Yes, it's still a grapple. Grapple the cat. Yep. Make me a <laughs> contested strength and athletics uh, or acrobatics be, check, yeah, cat. Yeah, acrobatics. Uh, I wish I could use acrobatics, but I can't, so he's going to try to capture the cat. Uh, also, cat, I would like to let you know that if you would like to change your orientation, uh, you can hold shift and mouse wheel while having your token selected. There you go, kitty. Oh, I actually successfully, <laughs> actually successfully capture the kitty. That's uh, startling. Flex, you swoop down right before he reaches the stairs, and you grab the cat. Cat, describe yourself to Flix. Uh, so yeah, you see a, uh, looks like a kitten, but is the size of a large house cat. So not quite what you're normally, uh, used to seeing. <laughs> so you're but... only a little smaller than I am. Yeah, so what are you? <laughs> uh, Flix is a fairy, so he's a slim, muscular young man with a uh, long, like, uh, uh, literally raven black hair. His hair is iridescent like raven feathers, but he's got cat ears and a cat tail. And, uh, he's dressed in various leathers and whatnot. Okay. And you're, you're uh, and he's got heterochromic eyes. One eye is 
like an electric green and the other one is a glacial blue. Hell yeah. I got a cat like that. Um, and you're grappling me in like a aggressive, like domineering sense? No, 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 no. He just kind of swoops down. He, he he is Flick's Duke of Cats. He knows how, how to handle cats. He swoops down and literally grabs you by the scruff of the neck. Uh, cat, you are uh, officially grappled uh, for this round. You are, you have the grappled condition. Flicks, you've acquired cat. Hey, settle down. We're not going to hurt you, little one. Uh, I try Sylvan. Uh, what do you, you say? You see a wide-eyed cat in response, just like not sure what's going on, but clearly like frozen from the, the scruff grab. Hello, we're not going to hurt you. Calm yourself. Calm, calm, calm. When the kitty starts to stop struggling, he'll gently put the cat down. Uh, the kitty doesn't stop struggling, and but it's not like a <laughs> trying to get out necessarily versus like a vibrating, like just shaking uncontrollably. Uh, not, Flix, make me a medicine check. Do, 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 do. Flix's cat is cold. Oh, oh, you poor little thing, you're freezing. Um, do we have any heaters or fires or anything aside from the kitchen? Uh, we have warm furs. Uh, in a boat in that thing. is mostly made of wood, there are no open flames that uh, where there are not supposed to be. Oh, the crystal's warm, right? The crystal's warm. Lacaris radiates a comforting and slightly warm aura. Well, would would Akashiba, would Akashiba, who is a cleric of the light and like regularly makes fire, be able to like make warmth? Is that like a thing? Uh, I, I would allow you to create a small amount of warmth enough for the cat. Or you can just stuff him down your shirt. <laughs> oh, Flix, come here. I, I, I can help if, if Kate is cold. I can fix it. All right. Well, be gentle. The poor thing is terrified. I am very gentle. I'm so excited that we have a ship's cat. This is the absolute best thing. I you were just talking about this, Flix. Uh, mm -hmm. Flix, Flix, me, or, I'm sorry. Rain, make me an arcana check. Okay. Uh, Rain, this, this is a very curious cat. You've never really seen a cat like this. In fact, you're not quite sure if this is maybe some sort of native Arctic species? Either, either way, it's very cute. Or it's perhaps the chonkiest kitten you've ever seen. Here, Akashiba, here's a little bit of the pork. Maybe you can offer it to him and it, her, unclear? No, it's, it's okay. Uh, Akash really kind of rebuffs the pork and will, holds up his hands. Flicks, can't. Uh, of course. I gently hand the cat to Akash. But just be nice to it. Be it like Akash, but like with his big, like clumsy bugbear paw, like r gives it like a pet on the top of the head that's like arguably like maybe a little too rough. Um, <laughs> like like, he, like sort of gently pulls the kitty away. Gently. You're very I strong, Akash. Very gentle. He's a good cat. I'm helping. And then Akash, but like, you know, radiates like a very like pleasing warmth from his hands. Yeah, you guys are all like posturing like nicely to the cat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're it, all it's basically over. like it's still very uh, cold, but uh, kind of like calming down and just like being manhandled by you guys. Support the rear paws. I hate it when someone doesn't support my rear paws. <laughs> ha, okay, hold on. Akash will like adjust his position <laughs> to support but the rear paws and has like one hand under the under basically like the chest area to like support it like these. No, no, the, the rear paws, the ones that are dangling. Oh, I, I, I Akash put my hand hands under his rear paws and grabs the other giant mitt and puts it underneath the cat's feet. Okay, yeah, Akash will, did that. Yes, yeah, so Akash was hand right under the back feet and then like one across like the chest supporting it. I'm gonna go see if we have any fresh cream. How did you over here again? I don't. I feel like you would have been very quiet. Yes, maybe Morris. Maybe he's why there's been huh? why we found bones in the storage. He's been eating things down here. Oh, are you a vicious little killer cat? Yes, it's you. You are a killer. It kind of nods his head a little. Uh, uh, uh flex. Why is it, this cat is not at me? Is this Rain? What do cats nod? Uh, um, he, he looks back and forth between Rain and Akashiba, and then he's like, oh, uh, and then just like stares off in the distance where Flex went. 
you are a little bit of a strange cat. I don't... I've never had cats, but I have seen cats, and most cats do not quite do, like, you know, the the mannerisms this one appears to do. Uh, this cat is very sus. <laughs> eh, well, I, uh, you know, I, I guess he's fine. He's, uh, Rain, you, it's cat. certainly not an illusion that shrouds the cat as Akashaba is handling it, and you notice, at least with that arcana check, no visual abnormalities, but aside from the uh, the kitten being a very curious and abnormally cute, uh, and not a species that you're familiar with. Uh, the its presence on your ship is probably mildly concerning. Hmm. Harkin's like, I don't think we have cream. I got, uh, chicken leg? Rain is going to put oh, up some fresh chicken would be wonderful. magic. Too many sardines or anything like that? Uh, cured fish are usually a favorite. Uh, rain? Actually, hold on, let me look real quick. She um, is familiar with polymorph spells now, so... It is true. Having just turned a dragon into a wee lizard. Uh, the, for five hours. The cat is magical. Uh, an aura of... Now, let me hold on, hold on. Uh, bah, bah, bah. The cat radiates an aura of... Oh, it doesn't tell me the school. A sus aura? A sus aura. Uh, like it transmutation would be... or something? It's, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming wild shape is transmutation. Yeah, that's what polymorph is, so it's probably something similar. Uh, probably you notice like that the cat some radiates... Some kind of additional markers that mark it out as not being arcane magic, though. Uh, right? It radiates some sort of uh, alter... Like, transmutation magic of sorts, but not one that's familiar to you. Hmm. But this cat is certainly wrapped in some sort of form-changing magic. Um, Akash, but let's uh, maybe... Bring it away from the chorus, shall we? Back into the other room? Okay, but it's probably, I mean, it's just kitten. It's not going to do anything. Yeah, it's... yeah, let's let's bring it, you know, over here. Yeah. Akash was seeing Oh, hey, guys. Arkin, like, like, hey, guys. Hey, we're well, going Flix to the returns. other room. He's got, like, cured fish and uh, milk and... Rain grabs Flix by, like, his arm and just, like, keeps walking with Flix. F Flix, so, all you have, have is a chicken leg. As soon as oh. I see Harkin, like, I start wriggling in, in Ekashiba's arms like crazy. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh -huh. what is this, an athletics check? Uh -huh. That's what Harkin Roars looks like. Yeah, very scared. Uh, uh, am I doing athletics? or? Wait? Yeah, what is this? Uh, acrobatics or athletics, whichever is higher to escape a grapple. Yep. And Akashiba, you make athletics we... or acrobatics, Akashiba? Uh, you, cat, here, I'm gonna put you here. Cat, you escape. Is that with your cat stats? You have a plus five acrobatics. Ah, uh, I just hit the thing. Um, oh, uh, higher as a cat, maybe. Let's no, see, his acrobatics is a plus, lower. it's plus yeah, so two with, a, with cat. Yeah, and I'm plus five normally. Okay, so I'm gonna do minus three, so a Kashaba. Uh, the cat squirms, almost getting out of your grasp. But he you, you grab down. him. It's okay, Cat. He's fine. Hey, I don't think he likes Harkin. Let's go over this way. Huh? Harkin, Harkin, you stay over there. What? What's wrong with me? You're just very intimidating. You're so strong. What? <laughs> it's a curse. It's your raw masculinity. I, oh, man. Harkin, okay. uh, like why starts we... licking his arm. Rain, why is Cat in here now? Rain closes the doors. Okay. So, kitty kitty, um, would you care to show us who you really are? He's <laughs> I'd really what? rather not have to force you out of your adorable cat form, but, uh... He's not real cat! You may, be, you may be overheard, you know, somebody did try to assassinate me today, so I'm a little paranoid. Frank, could you please stop? <laughs> well, I found, just... the, I found the teacups, everybody! Love, thank you so much, Frank, but let's keep the door shut for just a moment. Oh, this door? That precise one. Yes, oh, Frank. Okay, I'll go put the teacups back. Nope, nope. 
is this is this secretly a skeleton? I, I don't think it's secretly a skeleton. I mean, it has a skeleton, certainly, but I don't Wait, think it has a cat so skeleton. So you're suggesting that this isn't a cat at all, but some sort of stowaway? I'm saying that it is something that has altered its shape to appear like an adorable little kitty. Probably well, they have good to, taste, whoever they are. Probably to endear itself to either yourself or Akashiba and uh, murder you in your sleep, presumably. I'm not convinced that this person knew who the ship belonged to. You have Again, a knowing look as the person cat. who was, uh, you know, subject to an attempted Wait, assassination the cat today. The looks at Flix with an annoyed look. <laughs> a knowing look, like, unintentionally, like, yep, you got it right. Well, look, are you here to kill us? He addresses the, the cat directly. Um... Cat tries to like gently step away from Akashiba, so not like forcefully get out, but really communicate like, "I'm done being held." Not let you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, that's Honestly, that's oh, well, if we're going to have a productive dialogue, perhaps we should do it as equal participants. I think you can let him or her go, Akashiba. It's. Ugh, Are you trapped in your form, Kitty? Akashwa has put the cat down here on the stool. Yeah, he takes the opportunity. As soon as he <laughs> gets paws on the stool, uh, he darts around you. Uh, get the Rain answer. is going to cast Dispel Magic on him. Oh, so <laughs> you're put down and then you immediately try to run away? Not run away, just get to a corner away from you guys. Oh, okay. So you're like standing on this barrel back here, hiding, yeah. like cowering. Uh, not cowering. Like definitely like a confident posture, part of the conversation, but not quite comfortable with you guys yet. Um, and didn't really respond to the last question asked. All right, okay. Rain, you cast a spell magic on um, the cat. On the cat. All right. Don't think I have anything active going. Uh, just wild shape. Uh, does wild shape get dispelled? I don't know if it does or doesn't. Uh, Unclear. Let's see. I mean, it says magical effect, but uh, yeah, not sure. You, yep. You use your action to magically assume the shape of a beast. So it is a magical effect, and it is a spell of third level or lower because it is a second level druid spell. Oh, Wild Shape is not a spell, so Dispel Magic does not have any effect. Uh, this says it's a spell. Cyethius gets it's a, it's a class feature. And gets your strength. But it's, it strength is a magical speed. ability, so I am going to say Wild Shape is dispelled. Um, okay. So, Rain. Beep! Cyethius, you uh, describe yourself. In front of you. Um, yeah, so the cat gently transforms into the shape of a... Um, below average height skinny elf boy or man can't really tell uh no wrinkles very pale skin dark hair um holding a wooden shield basically cowering behind it as much as possible but not in like a a super afraid of you guys uh, stance um but yeah he's a small armed um elf oh fuck it's a tall flicks Oh, you look like you could be family. With with you? Well, yes, minus certain more appealing features attached to myself, of course. Why were you pretending to be cat? I would have adopted you and taken good care of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you can take care good care of me, Akashiba, Frank Frank, says. go away! Oh. <laughs> we'll take care of you, Frank. Don't mind Akashiba. <laughs> Akashiba, I'm sorry, Frank does the dishes. Um, 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 excuse me, who... Who's the captain? I am. Esther T. Tinkerwing. What? You're Esther? Any points to Flix? No. I'm Flix. Duke of Cats. He bows elaborately. This is Rain. That's Akashaba. This is Morris. The bony individual behind me is Frank. Hello. And you are? I, I demand to speak to the captain. You own the ship, so no. 
Oh. It's not really in position to make demands. Maybe you just introduce yourself and we have conversation, you deceiver. Uh, um, the, the, the captain would know what I'm about to say. Um, but if you just own the ship, then, then I have no business with you. Well, it is our ship. The, the captain is uh, our friend and helms person. But uh, any business that you have on the ship absolutely has to do with us, I'm afraid. We aren't getting off to a very good start, so let's try this again. I'm Flix, that's Rain, that's Akashaba, this is Morris. Who are you? Oh, wait, so are you saying you all are the captain? Sure. So it's like rolling yeah. his eyes. Yeah, yeah, sorta. It's kind of like that. And it's this a very is democratic, a right? It's a very democratic ship. Democratic, okay. Um, interesting. I've heard of that triad before, but never successfully. Um, this is a ship <laughs> that we're on? Yes? Yes. And and we left port, I don't know, half an hour ago? What is your name? Just give me um, your name. Um, Let's start with that. Um, um, I demand my maritime right of ship's passage to you, the collective oh. captains of the ship. Um, oh. Well, you do have one problem. Morris looks over. That sounds official. It does, but, uh... That problem is that this isn't a maritime ship. Uh, say, say uh, make me an intimidation check. Intimid- oh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. <laughs> oh! oh. Uh, I've done this before. <laughs> I don't know, what's that opposed with? Like, a wisdom saving throw? Morris stands up. I'm gonna go get... Char. You stay right there. Wait, Char Char's the captain? Uh, no. He locks the door. This isn't an ocean-going ship. Maritime laws have no bearing on anything happening here. Not to mention, I have very little or no respect for laws in the first place, so I'm disinclined to obey them. Wait, but we, we, left, we left port, therefore we're at sea, therefore it's maritime, therefore maritime law takes place. Oh, yeah. You have yeah, a lot of logic right that I'm quite immune to, I'm afraid you'll find. Oh, we are, we are not at sea, we are in air. What, what do you mean? We are in the air. This is airship. Uh, we are about, we are several hundred feet up in the air right now. Oh, no. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh yes. no. He just like kind of cowers down into the, the floor. We're actually on our way someplace incredibly dangerous. He says, his eyes avid with a grin on his lips. Oh, it, uh, is it? Is it cold? Isn't it? Oh, yes. In our it's very ah. cold. No, I must must find warmth. Must get south. What? Who are you? Can you just tell us already? This is quite a lot. Wait. Um, um, um I, I don't think I'm supposed to. Do a lot. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh. Is this is this individual armed? Hello, I'm. I'm oh, yes, with more than a shield. Oh, uh, shield and a um, pointy object on his back in a mm. sheet. As as far as I'm concerned, you look an awful lot like, frankly, a pretty pathetic assassin. And I would really like you to explain how you are not either of those things. Wait, is, is she the captain, ma'am? Uh, no, this, this ma woman appears in the doorway. Oh. She appears to be a blue-skinned tiefling with ice-like horns. She looks at you with her very curious golden-orbed eyes. Ah, well, I didn't take into account this one on the roster. They're not on the roster, Char. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Which is why Tarkin was coming up the stairs in such a hurry. Well, what have we found out? Well, it was to think that we're subject to maritime law, which we aren't, obviously. What were you going to say, Goshaba? Char drums oh, her fingers on her lips. There is actually a form of those laws bound for the air. Why don't we, if we're invoking laws and politicking and whatnot, why don't we all have a seat around the table and talk it out? So wait, is it airtime laws then? She knows. <laughs> Some, somewhat... <laughs> Oh, excellent. More laws for me to break. Yes, I'll, I'll bore you with the details, but I feel like as your quartermaster, there are certain things you should know, and 
Certain things we should know when dealing with potential stowaways. Can't they just be executed without question? Uh, I, I, I definitely formally declare maritime right of trips passage. Um, if, well, I, I seem to I, I, I seem to recall, at least in the south where I'm from, stowaways were simply thrown overboard. Well, we try not to... Not that I want to do that. Feed I'm our bestial saying. natures, Flix. Here we are refined, and we solve our problems with words. No. <laughs> Except you the wait. assassins, <laughs> of course. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, of course we do. Char gestures to a, a seat. Thank you, Captain. She smiles softly. Of course. Now, since you're invoking maritime law, you have a wish to be protected. Don't worry. We don't wish you any harm, but we are curious as to why you would stow away upon our ship. I, I was just trying to get out of the cold, and I, I saw you come into port, and it was curious, and I, I thought your ship would be best because there were suspicious characters already interacting with it. So, what's another? Wait, suspicious characters weren't suspicious characters. Oh, I, uh, I may have been delirious. I might have mistaken. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend. But generally, the dockhands seemed like they were not on the up and up. So I um, followed along. What, not on the up and up in what way? This is of great import to us. As my friend Rain uh, indicated earlier, there was an assassination attempt against us. Oh, that's, that's horrible. Um... So what did you see? Are you uh, threatening him or, or trying <clears throat> to convince him? No, he's just asking. I, I usually um, go through the captain, um, regardless of who owns the ship. So, um, I'll give yes, it that well, way here, look, look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Flix rolls his eyes. since we are up in the air, as Flix may have said, several thousand feet, I have no desire to do anything like bring harm to your person. In fact, I would be more than delighted to bring you to your final destination without any sort of concern or worry. Our ship is plenty full of room for you to sleep, and a potential warm meal, if you're carnivorous, we don't seem to have much produce on board, but we're going to make do. And oh, I think- I, I, I can tend for myself, if it's okay. If that is your preference. But, we see that you have a need, and for us, we can potentially supply. <clears throat> I feel like this is a chance for us to learn a little bit more about each other. Wouldn't you say, Rain? I'd like to verify that they're not an assassin first before I throw them overboard. But for now, we can play it your way, Char. Our smiles. And we don't want to, you know, cause any worries to our uh, young pilot. So, she looks over at Saithius. Pilot. Well, the person driving the ship right now. Ah, right. Yes, we're, we're on our way to uh, our end destination, is Maginox Polaris. She tilts her head. You are um, a drow elf, yes? Uh, 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 no. She narrows her eyes. Uh, you can roll deception. Nice. <laughs> Three. Uh, one moment. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any particular house you claim? I, I, um, I've run into people that have accused me of this, this before, and I am aware that it's generally an insult. Um, I try not to let words hurt me, um, but it, I find it's more important to judge an individual by their own experiences and not their ancestors. Also, huh. because I've 
I've never met any of my ancestors. She nods. So, no house. She looks at Rain. Kind of shrugs her shoulders, like, non-committally. You have to admit, Rain, if this is an assassin, uh, this is a strange way to go about it. Is, is there a well, bounty out for you? If I'm being honest, the fucking kobold we ran into at the port was also a strange way to go about an assassination attempt, and also got extremely startled when I found them out, did they not? Mm. So, it's possible whoever's sending these assassins is not tremendously competent, or they're not spending a terrible amount of money, which frankly is insulting to me. Huh? What'd but... you say, Rain? Frank looks up from doing the dishes. Frank, are you trying to have me assassinated? What? <clears throat> no. Why, why would I do that? Good enough for me. Could we start what? with a name, maybe? Instead of being as, frankly, as adorably pathetic and evasive as you are, we have answered a lot of questions for you already, and you haven't really answered one. We're going to have to insist at this point. Hmm? Well, if, if you must know, um, or call me whatever you'd like, um... Uh, I usually go by Saithias these days. Saithias, is that correct? Oh yes, or or Sai, or Hey You, or whatever Psy. role you assign like me. The sound of Sai. Great. That's lovely. Let's it's got a start. lyrical note to it. Saithias. I approve. Thank you. Where did Akashaba go? He's right here. Right here. <laughs> You're uncharacteristically quiet, Akashima. You know, Flick, sometimes it's possible to just shut up and think about things. You don't always have to be talking. So how do you get anything done that way? Ren, what were you saying? I was just going to ask Saithius where it is that he wants to go. I mean, presumably you boarded a, a ship of some kind to go somewhere. Where is it that you would like to be if it's not here? Um, I mean, I, I like... To be at the sea, um, but warmer. Um, no snow, no ice. Please, running water. Um, that's oh. it. Simple pleasures. Oh dear. You're very far away. And you're away very from any of those far from all of those things. Welcome oh. to Arctis. Uh, Where did you say you were from again? Um, from the islands. Um, much, much further south. But um, I've been at sea for. Oof. I don't know. Lifetimes, I guess. Oh, he's a southerner. Someone like you, Rain. Uh, nothing like me, but sure. I'm Our curious how the Tritons didn't tear this one apart. I'm impressed he got so far. Tell me, she leans forward, are you a smuggler? Uh, I try not to ask what the crews are doing, I, I just follow my captain's orders. But you're a ship hand, so you have some skill in handling boats. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I've I've done almost every role on a ship. Um, well, that's useful, yeah. at least. You cook. can't say I've ever been in the air before. Oh, cooking. Oh, oh, um, I have. For sure, it's it's always necessary to keep people fed, but. Um, okay, you want a new cook then? Yes, he looks at Shar. We really do need cook. Harkin's cooking is not very good. I thought we were going to add, give Frank a turn at cooking. No, we. Yeah, we I thought I was cooking. gonna cook. Frank no, looks up Frank. from doing the dishes. No, Frank uh, looks back at Shar. So uh, this seems very fortuitous. Oh, I mean, I'm too fortuitous. Always really good at making one recipe and it it's um, my signature dish it's a stew um two of the three crews i i fed it to well well they very independently and this was decades apart came up with the same tagline which was good berry stew better than cannibalism thought it had a ni nice ring to it um the third crew um they they didn't agree with that statement so up to you if you want me to cook Wait, they uh, prefer cannibalism? Goodberry stew. I, they I'm preferred gonna... cannibalism. 
I, I'm going to go ahead and veto the role of the cook for just this moment. Uh, again, oh, right. assassination, assassination attempt. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Like, I, oh. I, I don't, I don't yeah. want to just gloss over that one. And, you know, I thought we could put a pin <laughs> on it in it. But, good judge you know, of this... I'm good judge of character. And there's clearly this is not assassin. Akashiba, you thought he was a cat not five minutes ago. A lot of people thought he was a cat. Yes. I, I thought he was a cat. You thought he was a cat at first, Rain? You were a very cute cat. Yeah. Could you I be am still that same beast? Just okay. So, everything. making sure I understand, you could just be cat. You you don't have to be like this. So you could just live on ship as cat. Yes. Not all the time, but but yes, if you prefer that, and it's oh, better I, for my duty. I was just thinking all the time, really. No, no offense. No, I I can't do it all the time. I'm sorry. I, no, I honestly <laughs> was also thinking all the time. If, if oh, I'm, okay. okay. Well, so, so maybe we start with. You know, a deckhand roll for now. See he if Sai wants to stick around. You know, I don't think we're we're definitely not going south anytime soon. Although that could presumably be on the agenda at some point. Although, if you remained on board for several days without being detected, you are reasonably sneaky, aren't you? Well, he just boarded like two hours ago in port, Flix. He just said that. Oh, I oh I thought we were underway for like a day or something like that we're, uh, he we're heading to Rhymefang. yeah so. you guys are going to Rhymefang's layer so it's a f it's going to be a few hours out so you guys have probably been flying for a couple hours now uh, like 30 foot movement it's going to be like a lot longer than that it's going to be a while yeah because the owls are like more than twice as fast as that and it took the owls for uh four hours so we're looking at like eight to nine hours to get up there yep probably a long rest so oh. okay then you want uh you want deck hand roll right well well you figure out if you can trust well i mean to your point akasha but everybody has to work and i would prefer not to be poisoned um you know as... i'm actually very interested in trying this good berry stew great char that's all really? no i'm great serious too. Why don't we have him prove his metal and have him cook it for us right now? This, this is a good idea. Oh, well, unless he, um, he is actually trying to murder us all with poison, in which case we'll just be poisoned. Well, yes, but obviously we're looking. We'd be looking at the stew and we would be able to be ascertained if it was poison, if we could look at it with our eyes and our noses and be prepared for it and still consume it and be poisoned. Well, then he would probably be just the best assassin in the world now, wouldn't he? With, with his... Literally nothing you just said, Char, makes any sense. That's precisely how poisonous <laughs> but I want assassinations this work. Stew. Oh, okay, well, okay. you know what, Char? Actually, that's a fair point. You know, you weren't the target of the assassination, so actually, maybe you, maybe you can absolutely have this stew. That seems perfectly fine. You are well within your rights. I will respectfully abstain for now. Fine, then. I'll 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 some, I'll why don't we do stew. this? Why don't we have say this, or excuse me, Sai, make his good berry stew, and you all can supervise. And I will sample the stew and see if he is a good enough cook in order to pay, yes, in gold, to see if he can stay on the ship. And in that, we will provide you with money, warm lodgings, blankets, and if you like to be a kitty, the occasional scritches. Oh, I, I don't really like that, but um, yeah, I I'm I'm okay with that, and I believe my kindred spirit over here. Um, that was magic you used, yes. Who are you talking to? Ah, uh, speaking to rain. Sorry. Oh, y y yes. So we're all and just like gestures around the room, like we're all cool with the arcane, right? Yeah. Oh, yes, I believe we all eyes. have some facility for oh, magic, yes. but uh, Very you should warn so. us before you cast anything. Oh, I'm about to cast lots of things. Um, uh, can I have a a um a pot, preferably stone, but metal will do. Um, and is there um a heating element on the ship, either fire or or anything else that can just boil water? Would you like to come to the kitchen? Oh, oh, this isn't the kitchen. Wow, you have a fancy ship. Where's the kitchen? Come along. Everyone as well. Come, come. Except Ashar. I can try it too, right? 
Of course, Akashiba. Oh, yeah. After I've sampled it. Okay. <laughs> uh, Char leads you into a rather dirty kitchen area. Uh, most of the um, things seem to be smeared with uh, blood. Um, there appears to be a pig carcass laying on a table that has been haphazardly butchered and some uh, jerky chicken legs salted for survival, but ultimately they will be they will spoil very soon. Um, Shark kind of leans up against the pipe back here in gestures. Well, you should be able to find a pot mm, here. She gestures to one on the ground. Oh, yeah. Um, any size will do. Maybe like a few gallons. It's perfect. Um, can I do it in a different room? I, I, I don't really like what I'm seeing here. Oh, I can't believe Hawkins already made such a mess of the place. I was about that to say, impressive. this is a brand new ship. How is it so filthy already? Well, it Rain, appears that he was... Do you mind giving me a hand with this? I start prestidigitating various things clean. Shar is also prestidigitating. Uh, soon enough, most of at least the blood everywhere is gone, and she wraps up the pig carcass in a bit of twine and uh, places it elsewhere. She ensures <laughs> that the table is prestidigitated clean. Oh, great. Okay, now, um, how can we heat this water? Do we have anything for that? I, I can make fire. I'm not prepared for this. I mean, there should be, like, a ship's oven or something like that. Like, ships do have cooking apparatuses. Sailing um, ships do. There's a bit of a, a... Like a... Like a... Um... A stone inlaid pot that can have, like, a small fire under it. That can be Ooh. used for various stews or boiling water. So Saithius immediately takes the metal pot that he picked up first and just chucks it against the wall to the left. Um, okay. and, and immediately like gets down cross-legged in front of this this thing. Starts coaxing up like a flame in um, pretty mundane ways of just like using flint and whatnot. Um, and then without asking for permission or anything, he, he pulls out a shield and um, does something with some stoppers and whatnot. Starts um, doing a spell incantation and um, a stream of water comes out of a, a uh, part of the shield into the pot. Oh. And creates a good 10 gallons of, of water um, or up to the size of, of the pot that you've made available. Char claps in delight. Oh. Uh, he looks over his shoulder. Oh, oh thank you. Um, and, Very nice. And then he, like, turns over his shields and he's able to uh, cast a little bit more uh, arcane uh, incan incantations there and there's a little bud um, growing out of the wooden shield that he's holding, and it grows into a, a full stem that has a large seed pod that just very wrapped in front of your eyes that he plucks off and then does a little prayer. It breaks open this giant seed pod, and these huge bulbous um, nuts basically fall out into the water. That's a lot of nuts! Sorry, I can't in. help it! Um, Akashiba, Flix, and Rain all make me an arcane check, please. Or arcana check, please. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh. Uh, Rain, you, you can tell now, you put the pieces together with the shape-shifting, uh, the creation of water, the, the mention of Goodberry. This man is definitely a druid of some sort of order. Uh, Akashiba, you come to the same conclusion. Uh, Flix, this guy making magic. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Anything Flix would probably just know, because the Fae and Druids get along very well together. Not Hell, with that I know, I, know, I know the druid craft cantrip. No, I'm just saying that Flix probably wouldn't even need to make a... Uh, Arcana check to recognize the druid. He's probably uh, just very distracted as Sathius is magically filling these pots with various odds and ends. Uh, sorry, as you are conjuring nuts, I could not contain myself. Continue, Sathius. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, that happens for as long as it needs to, and then eventually there's a uh, brothy liquid with fully dissolved nuts in it. Um, that kind of has the appearance of, like, a thick miso stew. 
Uh, and, and he just like looks over, like smiles very uh, uncharismatically at you, Shar, and is like, eh? Hmm. She's drumming her fingers on her chin. Now it smells rather earthy. Uh, Akashma takes a few steps back and like whispers to Rain, I think he's druid. Hmm. These, you ever know druid assassins? I haven't. So there's no meat. I've in known stew. many druid assassins, Akashima. Mm, Akashima just frowns. <laughs> oh, are you a vegetarian, Sai? Um, I mean, not not out of principle, but there was a long period of time that I didn't eat any meat, and then um, I don't I don't think I can digest it anymore. Oh, but Very what about what about a fish? Are you a pescatarian? I try not to as well. He nods understandingly. I shall keep that in mind as I stock our wares. Well, Sai, no, have I, you completed- I care myself. It, it's no, no trouble, no trouble. Have you completed your stew? I want to give you sufficient like, time and not hurry you. He, like, leans over and, like, pulls a little wooden spoon out from his, his shield area as well and just, like, takes a nice little sip. Grimaces a little bit, but then swallows and is like, Yeah, 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 it tastes about as good as I've ever made it. Yeah, it's ready. I, you can make me either a performance or a sleight of hand check to decide how good your stew is. How well you poisoned it. <laughs> so we're oh, still yeah, looking for our code, guys. Ever made. <laughs> this never happens. It's the pressure. It's the... <laughs> I appreciate that he's proud of it, though. That's that's important. Uh, Sharp. Sure leans forward and kind of wafts the air above the pot towards her and sniffs at ah, earthy I mean, notes. honestly, Rain, it almost doesn't matter. We can make anything delicious if we need to. All right, Sai. This is your test. She uh, dips a spoon in, takes a sip. Her eyes kind of squint a little bit. Mm. Everybody make, make me an insight check. She clearly isn't enjoying it. Oh shit! <laughs> There's the twenty. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Akashiba. Uh, Akashiba flicks sigh. Uh, boy, Char, Char is giving it, you know, a fair try. She ate the whole spoon. She's wafting it around in her mouth, uh, looking this way and that, um, giving it a chew. There's a crunch. Not sure if Crunch was supposed to be there. Her brow furrows. <laughs> uh, she swallows. Do you have fillings, Char? Not anymore. So, deckhand for now, then. I... 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 I feel strangely fulfilled. However, here, Akasha, but she... Uh, now, Sai, is it poisoned? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> With that roll, it might be. She dips the spoon in and hands it to Akashiba. I would expect uh, the bitter notes of acorn powder and uh, the a sweet note of the good berry rind. And the texture is... Mm. She uh, open up. She pushes the spoon airplane style towards Akashiba. Akashiba <laughs> happily opens up his mouth. Uh, you bite down, and it is just as good as a uh, six performance roll on a cooking a cooking throw is. Nailed it. Uh, Akashiba, it's not great, but how you react is entirely up to you. But it feels super nourishing, right? Because it, it's good berry. Well, once he swallows it, yes. Uh, uh, it tastes like bitter, earthy medicine. But it's warm. Uh, Akashma kind of like slurps it down from the spoon and kind of tilts his head. Oh, it's like, okay, so before I come to city, I oftentimes have to make do with what is around me and make things that are maybe not most tasty, but you know, it's, it's not bad. It's, it's, I would eat it. Right? Right? In, in fact, it's quite warming. I. Eh? She nods. Even though I. Mm, <sighs> she like looks around for some water. 
the aftertaste it does leave something to be desired. Excuse Kashiba me. Goes over to the bowl. <laughs> It sticks the spoon in and takes another bite. Rain just like leans in while Char is like drinking from like the fucking faucet. Uh, Char is like blah, blah, uh, raises no. an eyebrow. Okay, so we, we can ascertain that he's a druid, blah, blah, but oh. mm -hmm. mm. and a shit cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fine. Not everybody's great at all things. It's not. This is not like the end of the world. He has potential ship skills. That's Continue something we could utilize. Spoon, take spoonful after spoonful from this as he just keeps drinking. Akashima's just chowing down. Yum, okay. yum, 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 yum. Uh, Akashima... If you're going to stick around, you're going to have to be a lot less evasive. I simply won't tolerate it. But me? Yes, you. He, like, you gotta come tries to this. get out from your uh, line of sight. Hmm, what's he do? Just tries to dodge your line of sight as though when you say you, like he's you're not looking at him. <laughs> yeah, he, he gets closer. Look, I'm generally a, a pleasant, tiny person, but uh, your arrival on this ship was not ordained by any sort of uh, original agreement. You stood away, which is fine with me. I've engaged in enough mischief Eight. myself. Eight. But oh, at but this point, I need you to understand that your continued presence here is on our sufferance you're going to have to be straight with us do you understand you're suffering because i'm here it's a word it means that we uh, uh accept your presence on the condition of you being open with us and not being evasive and uh sneaky or deceptive oh, try um, this soup he like absolutely tries like... some of the soup okay. grimaces and swallows it why are you what is that medicine Akashiba walks back over towards the, the soup. <laughs> I mean, it it it, it grows on he, you when you have nothing else to eat and you're he, lost. He, he sticks out his time. tongue and wipes the the, the the soup off of his tongue, <laughs> and then uh, prestidigitates his hand clean. Oh well, that was an exp oh oh well, it feels nice. Perhaps could perhaps skip the cooking process next time. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. I've done that for the last, I don't know how long. And no, it's not good for the mind. Well, we can negotiate on that point. So where are you from originally, Sayutheus? Oh, oh, further south. We already talked about that. Right, but where in the south? I'm from the south. Oh, um. So well, I'll know means... where, wherefore you are from, as it were. Well, he means outside of Arctis. Yes, I'm from outside of Arctis, too. What is Arctis? Ah. Oh, oh my. Mm-hmm. He is very lost. I I mean... You said yes. you mentioned you were from islands. Uh, out of character, I don't want to pressure you for something that you don't have, but uh, you can just like be like, name of island chain. Um, yeah, out of character, he's just going to be really shifty and like... Not answer your question unless under duress. Well, sure, I definitely well, he don't is trust under him. duress. Flix is like being <laughs> oh. extremely direct, but with him, I wouldn't either. But it's important to get an idea of what he's capable of. Oh, that was very good. Uh, I'm just gonna call you Sai. Thank you for sharing your food. It's very good. Oh, you're very welcome. And if if we ever go off off ship on um, any shore leave, um, I can make it. Anywhere we can find fire. Yeah, we get off the. I would imagine we would get off the ship quite a bit. We often go on many fabled adventures, fight dragons, revenants, vampires, all kinds of bad things. We're on our way to kill a couple vampires, uh, actually, in a couple days, so you're welcome to join us. Yeah. Assuming you're not a man. That's not polite. Can I do what? a deception check or, or perception of deception? Perception of deception? Yeah, Akashima probably I'll genuinely you likes it. Lying or, you can, or, like, yeah. you can does. make an insight check. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely <laughs> telling you the truth. We're about to go oh, kill some shit. fucking vampires. Vampires are real? <laughs> oh, you did not know this? oh, no. There are smiles. I don't know where uh, the hell he's from, but wherever it is, we gonna have vampires where I'm oh. from. Oh, no. There's some thumping up on the top of the deck. Thump, thump, 
No, they were treated much like a fable in most of the places where I'm from as well, to be perfectly honest. Oh, what? oh no. Sailors were making up stories to pass the time. No, no, <laughs> made up. We are in our boat. We have ah, vampires. Rain! Rain! Harkin, Harkin, Harkin. We've got, we've got trouble on deck. Oh, fucking. Okay, Shit. of course we do. You, uh, Flix stabs a finger at uh at Sai. He tries to die. On deck with us. You're not going to be wandering around here unattended. You gotta help us. Okay. You promise to keep me safe, right? And not throw me overboard? Oh, I will no, not intentionally I... throw you overboard. No promises about safety for any of us. I will keep you very safe, friend. You have given me more or food and we are now good friends. Oh okay. And oh, who's this? Oh, that's Morris. He's very handsome. Huh? Let's go. Trouble on deck, Akashaba. <laughs> oh. Coming. I cannot leave our charge in alone. Are we being attacked? I don't know. We'll find out in like a second. All right, if you hear moment? daggers, you know we're in trouble. Oh yeah, there's a bagger. Yeah. As we're going upstairs, um, oh. are we being assaulted, Harkin? It's, it's Esther. She saw something off the, uh, the front of the ship. What's that called again? The, the front prow? The, the, the prow. Off the prow. Yes, and now we are on the prowl. Ah, we are on the prowl. All right, on the way out, I will cast, uh, Armor of Agathas. Uh, Grun is looking over the uh, the edge of the ship. Esther, do we have some of our owl orc friends? Uh, Harkin, Harkin's like, where, where is, where is the kid? Oh fucking! Oh wait, Harkin, uh, did I the... did I forget Sayathius's token? I did. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> You're in the dark. Harkin, you are the security okay, officer of the ship. He is your responsibility for now. Make sure he doesn't get up to anything. Yep. And maybe make him useful. Yep. Get on deck. Yep. Nice. This quarter's here. Bark, um, bark. Oh, bark, <laughs> bark. <laughs> bark, bark. Uh, you step on deck. Bork. Grun is looking out at something. Uh, Esther, uh, she has her artificer goggles on, and they appear to be wearing, powered up by some unknown power source. Uh, she lifts a wing and is looking off into the distance. There's there's some sort of elemental abnormality. I'm I'm sensing off the distance. Uh or weather. Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh it, 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 about, if you look over there, you could just see it just right off the front. It it seems some sort of uh, uh like the air is twisted somehow. Uh Akashima. Hand over his eyes and looks out. Uh, Akashaba, you see a twisted mass of, mass of wind off of the north prow. It appears to be whirling like a localized hurricane, and it's rapidly approaching your ship. It looks like big storm is coming. Get get back from uh, get away. I don't think I can um turn the ship fast enough. Is that, is that an elemental? Sai, um, come with me. It is. Uh, one moment. As I prepare everybody for combat. Skrr. Uh, bang a rang. Bang a rang. Trevor, it's cold uh, out here, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. As this started, as this started, Trevor, uh, Akashiba grabbed your character's hand and like started dragging him towards the center of the ship. Okay, um, as you're dragging him, you can tell that his gait isn't, like, completely normal, and you probably notice that his feet are, like, all black and not wearing shoes. Is he, like, super frostbitten? Yeah. I need everybody to roll initiative for me. Akashaba, because you uh, nailed your investigation check, these things do not get a surprise round on you. Sick. Okay, nice critting of the initiative. Nice. We can't be surprised anyway because of my crossbow. Uh, that has a range, correct? Um, well, 
Presumably? I don't think it says anything like that. It just kind of works. Um, let me look. But that's okay. Uh, I'm going to roll initiative for some people here. Uh, this weapon, this magic weapon warns you of danger. While the weapon is on your person, you have advantage on initiative rolls. In addition, uh, you and any of your companions within 30 feet of you can't be surprised, except when incapacitated by something other than non-magical sleep. Okay, so, so The weapon feet. magically awakens you and your companions within range if any of you are sleeping. So I can't be surprised and anyone within 30 feet of me can't be surprised. Okay. All right. Akashiba, you noticed the air elemental off of the north uh, prow of the ship. Uh, where is it? Okay, so you are over there. One moment, please. Music is not banger enough. And I require banger. Oh, no, I don't want this. Did you say, is somebody going to die? Yeah, I was like, no, <laughs> man. Well, it was a good run. <laughs> yep. There we go. Much better. As the air elemental to the front flits closer, two more off of the uh, starboard and larboard, uh, I guess. <laughs> what port? What The left and the right sides of the ship. Two other elementals appear. And as opposed to the air elemental off the front, these ones appear to be clad in armor, and in one hand wielding a wicked mace. Top of the round, round one. Flix, you're up. The air elementals are coming in. Why are we being attacked by elementals? We've done nothing to offend. Uh, don't, don't forget, Flix, we are carrying an extremely magical Lacaris. They probably were attracted by him. Hmm. All right. Lou warned us something like this might happen. Um, I am going to hex. Um, which one appears the most dangerous? actually. Uh, you're going to have to insight check in order to figure that one out. Yeah, I will roll an insight check. Oh, uh, so one thing, Trevor, one of our house rules is that uh, once a round, it is not an action, you can just make an insight check on a target you can see. Uh, if you roll a threshold or higher, uh, I will allow you to ask one question about your target. Common cool. questions are, what are its hit points? Or what is uh, a condition immunity? Or show me an ability I haven't seen yet. Cool, like a weak version of the fighter level seven ability? Yep. In, in some ways it's stronger than that ability, honestly. True. Yeah. Uh, but yes, I rolled a 20. So which one of these is the most dangerous? Uh, the potential for the air elemental to be the most dangerous uh, for your ground bound friends as the air elemental as an ability uh, that can potentially knock back. You don't want them knocked off your ship because there's not much below you. Got it. Hmm. Choose your All destiny, right. Flicks. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm choosing whether I cast a spell or do something else. All right, yeah, I'm going to uh, get its attention, and I'm going to do that by casting Hex on it, and I'm going to Hex its strength, and then I'm going to uh, unload on it. All right, let me get it. this thing hexed here. Oh, yeah, I don't have a marker for the Hex, so we will have to remember the Hex this time. That's fine. Let's see. Yeah, let's see what kind of... Uh... Uh, let me get within 30 feet of Akashiba, too. I can see it from all the way down here, right? Uh, you... Can, yeah. You would have to get far back enough, because where Esther is, is about five feet higher than where you're at now. Right. 
Uh, it shows me line of sight too. Yeah, that so. that's fine. But if you were like right here, that would not work. Yep. Because there's this thing right here. All right, but I'm not hidden or anything, so I don't get an advantage. Nope. Uh, I'm just going to take a couple of normal shots. 17 and 21. Uh, both hit. Okay, I do uh, 18, 25 damage. All right. Your crossbow bolts hit home in the cloud, question mark, and the air, ele air elemental makes a pained whooshing sound. Flicks. Bother oh, someone else, you idiots. <sighs> we don't have time for this. We have important things for Arctis to do. Whoosh, vocalizing whoosh. Uh, I can't I, whoosh. The Discord doesn't pick it up. It's like uh, I don't. I don't speak primordial, but he says that in Sylvan. <laughs> <laughs> Flex does that end your round? Uh, that is everything that I could do. All right. Next up, one of the air elementals coming up the side of the ship decides to come a little bit closer. Let's see, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty. And the air ele elemental raises its flail to the skies, and you hear an ominous crackle of thunder. Thunderous. Thunderous! Uh, he is going to take a double move and end his round, actually. He will not lightning strike. The other air elemental also gets closer. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, double moves. 5, 10, 15, takes an opportunity attack from Grun. And the attack passes through him as Grun's fists are not magical. Grun doesn't have a weapon? Not on him. Oh. Aetheus, you're up. Air elementals, two clad in armor, wielding massive flails, float onto the ship. Wait, did the captain approve this? Uh, oh crap. Uh, he like kind of hesitates a little bit, and then he just like pulls out the sharp thing on the back of his uh of his back, and charges forward. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and tries to make a lunging attack with his rapier on this dude. Alright, go ahead. Ooh, 20 hits! Okay. Um, he's actually going to... Uh, so is that a magical weapon? That is not a magical weapon. Alright. Unfortunately, with your rapier, it will pass through the air elemental without doing any damage. That still count as a hit. Hmm? Does it still count as a hit? Uh, no, it does not. If it is not uh, hit by your attack, it does not count as a hit. It is immune oh, to okay. non-magical physical damage. Uh, I pull back and it's like, what? I thought I hit. And he tries to attack again with his rapier. Again. It's zero your, damage. <laughs> your rapier passes through him, even through his ethereal armor. Without a what trace. What is this, dream? I, I, I don't know what's going on. And he looks back at Akashiba, and then um, he'll hold his bonus action um, to transform in the event that something tries to attack him. All right. Would you like to use your insight check in order to glean any information about the air elementals? Sure. I will try to glean if uh, there's any of my weapons that can do damage to them. I am looking at your character. I only have mundane weapons, so you don't have to. <laughs> oh, you only have mundane weapons? Okay. Yeah. For your magical items that you chose um, in character creation, did you you only chose the shield, right? You actually did not choose a magical weapon? Correct. I've got other things in the toolkit, just in character. He wouldn't have tried them yet. Okay, yeah. So you understand by looking at this, 
that no physical attack is going to get through, but you might want to try magic. Good you know. That's my turn. All right, Akashiba, you're up. Uh, Akashiba watches Sai's uh, rapier go through the air elemental and then, like, sees him look confused. Oh, it's, it's okay, Akashiba. Akashiba, like, holds up a hand um, and casts Channel Radiance of the Dawn. Divine Radiance of the Dawn? Wow, it sucks. Um, <laughs> okay, well, they have to make a con saving throw of uh, 15. All right, first one, con saving throw. Crits succeeds. Yep. Uh, next one, con saving throw succeeds. Yep. Uh, okay. Do they take half? Yeah, they take six radiant damage. All right, six radiant damage to both of them. Yeah, and then I got some of that bless. <laughs> but <laughs> you're so needy. Can I get I some of that bless? And then Akashwa is going to cast level four sword chain. Oh. Uh, Sword Chin! Uh, Akashiba summons a spiritual weapon that manifests out of the ether. Akashiba, where do you put uh, Sword Chin? Actually, you can control Sword Chin. Where do you put her? Uh, Sword Chin's gonna be right here. Okay. And Sword Chin uh, rolls a 24. 24 hits. And it's the magical weapon and hits for 17. All right. The magical sword that the priest man excuse me, the cleric manifests out of pure spiritual light slashes through the air and cuts the air elemental and it makes a hollow roar. Akashiba, does that end your round? No, Akashiba's gonna look at Sai. Some creatures cannot be hurt with just a weapon. Um, and is going to roll an inside check. Nope. Nope. All right. Great. <laughs> Next up, the air elemental at the front of the ship. Uh, let's see. One moment. Oh, Billy. Hang on. I have to zoom out. With the speed of air, the air elemental bursts onto the ship. With insane amount of movement. One second. And it ends its round. Uh, Grun, uh, looking over at the air elemental that's just boarded the ship. I... Uh, Rain, what do you want me to do? I don't have any weapons. Go to my room. There's a staff in there with a snake head. Grab it. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. There's also a crystal sword. Grab that for our slight lanky friend. <laughs> Rain, you're up. You are concentrating on dis uh, detect magic. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. I'm going to delete that. Right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um... So here's a question. Uh, here is summon an answer. Summon construct. It is a. It is derived from a spell, but it does not specify that anything in the stat block about hitting things with magical like immunities like that. So I'm going to assume the construct is totally useless, which is really dumb for a fourth level spell. But. Uh, let me read. Summon is construct. It yeah. usually yeah. specifies whether the attacks of those things count as magic or magic ah, magical or not. In yeah, it does. It does for normal monster stat blocks, but like these are like the weird derived stat blocks, and I, none of them specify that. To, that I was just taking a look to see if there's any precedent anywhere. That's why I was Ooh, trying that's to. A good question. I don't even know if my summoned ghost can affect. Like that's super weird that like a spell wouldn't do that, but like I do know, for example, like the the animated objects does not like that specifically doesn't so uh very specifically your constructs attack is slam and slam is not a magical ability because your construct is not attacking it with a magical like weapon it's like its hands aren't magical um yeah. i would allow like some tinkerings where you could do some stuff to your construct in order to make its attacks magical but at at default it is not 
So... Or you could have your construct wield a weapon, potentially. That is magical. That's so unnecessarily complicated. It is. We will we will never do that. Let's mm. we'll just say let's uh let's not and say mm. we did. Okay. Um <laughs> Fuck, I don't even know. Um cuz like I have no spells either. Uh You have no spells. Wait, what do you mean? Why would you I, You you've had I have a... burned I've burned almost all of my spells. I only got a short rest. Um, Ooh. I have, I have basically almost nothing above, I have one spell slot above fourth level because I got a short rest back. Um, I'm going to, oh, that's bad too. Because she's getting flanked. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to cast mirror image. Okay. And activate blade song. Right. There are now three track. rains that appear on the deck of the ship. What, uh, what would you like to know? Uh, let's get maybe hit points on this guy. Okay. All right, hit points are on. There you go. Um, and everybody's boxing around. I can move through friendlies, right? Ah, uh, you can. Yes. All right, I'm going to move here because Rain does not want to just get flanked. That's fair. I'm sure it's you. Yeah, that's it. That's all Rain does. That's all she can do. All right, next up, uh, Harkin. Uh, Harkin is... trying to stealth. Uh, Harkin will stealth. I do. Uh, Harkin tries to uh, sneak behind everything. Uh, and he tries to backstab the air elemental. And he does not have a magical weapon. So whatever and impressive he attack... You hmm? would have heard us saying that you can't hurt these without magic. Uh, he stabs. Right. He, he's doing his best. Christina, we really need a good mirror image icon. Uh, I... I... I for agree. Future reuse. I think I need to add one. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna do the. I'm gonna use the cover one for now. What? Uh, Flex. Give, give me a magical dagger. I'll have you covered in a moment. <sighs> Actually, am I next? What's the? Uh, nope, no, you are not. Master. Uh, Harkin disengages. Uh, Esther. Ah! I, I have to I have to steer the ship. <laughs> I'm steering. These things are making the sails go crazy. Flicks, top of the round, round two, you're up. All right. Akajaba, are you going to bless us this round? <laughs> minus I, minus I, one I, RP. Yeah, and like Akasha like looks at the two air elements right next to If I get to it, Flicks. Right, I I hurl my plus one rapier at Harkin. Catch. Um, and then I drop hex and cast bless out of my ring. Uh, and I will affect myself. Rain. And uh, I still don't know what our new young friend is capable of. So. Uh, Oaken air. But, so uh, I will bless Akashaba. Uh, Akashaba, or sorry, Harkin neatly grabs the rapier out of the air and equips it. All right. All right. And then uh, with advantage. I don't think these are the most dangerous. I think the elemental rapidly approaching is far more dangerous to us. We should switch. Uh, ten misses. Uh, even let me see if bless helps with that. You're not blessed. I cast bless out of the ring. I am blessed. Oh, where? Okay, hold on. My bless. I got a bless token. You. 
No, oh, that's an 11. Yeah, bless. That's miss. Uh, bless. Wow, that was with advantage, too. Bless. Uh, did Sai get blessed as well? Uh, Sai did not, because it was a first level yeah, bless that I got from Akashaba. Okay, so Flix, Rain, and Akashaba? Uh, yes, and I do uh, 20 damage to this uh, critter. All right. Not very, the... not very impressive. Bad Ooh, the air elemental whooshes with fury as uh, your uh, bolt want strike to insight and figure out how many hit points this crit creature has because I did some damage to him. Mm, unfortunately, you not could... Flix. Yeah, I don't think Bless is going to help. Is that a Duran? Um, uh, I eye the thing nervously, but if it's going to grapple anyone, it's better that it grapples me than literally anyone else. So uh, I will stay where I am. And does that end your round? Yeah. All right. Next up, the air elemental in front of you flicks as you were the last one to damage. It turns on you. And it begins to flail. Uh, the first one, it summons down the lightning strike. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hello. Do Lightning, it. please. Lightning, please. All right. I am going to roll the flail attack. Here we go. I don't see an attack. Oh, great. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. I crit. <laughs> of course you did. That's fine. Um, let's see. Oh, this is going to hurt a lot. I am so sorry in advance. Uh, does it do a bunch of lightning damage? Uh, yep, it does. Yep, hang on. All right. I'll use absorb elements. Oh wait, that sorry, ignore that one. Sorry, ignore that. The damage is supposed to be a crit. Uh, uh it immediately takes fifteen cold damage. Okay. As the ice batters it and slows it down slightly, Flix, you're just mashed in the body with the flail attack. The initial uh, flail attack doing thirteen bludgeoning damage. Yes, Flix? Uh like Flix doesn't even react like the, the frost rhyming his body shatters partially, but he doesn't seem damaged by the attack at all. Wait for the lightning. Uh, yeah, the initial damage was bludgeoning. Right. Yep. Which did damage back to him. I'm just saying that it didn't penetrate the temporary uh, hit points provided by Armor of Agathas. Nice. All right. And uh, that sucks, but I'm casting Absorb Elements out of my ring, <laughs> so I'll take half of that <laughs> uh, and I may need to make a saving throw against that right uh, let or is me that scroll just up. how much damage it does it is a DC 13 constitution saving throw in order to not be stunned and unfortunately uh, flicks blasts Ooh. I make it Ooh, <laughs> you make it no you're not stunned until the end of the myrmidons Next turn, lucky you. However, the lightning that was called forth from the heavens. Uh, let me let me check for concentration real quick. Oof. Oof. Uh, cool. Flix, your concentration drops. Yeah. Hey, dude, well, the bless saved you from a stun. That's worth it. It's yeah, worth the first level spell it. from uh, a ring. Flix, how much damage did you take from the lightning? 34 uh, damage. Half of that. My, I made my my con saving throw, so I just take the damage. That's it's just 34. Being, uh, yep. Uh, so I take half of that, and my next attack will do an additional, however much damage, of Perfect. electrical. It's a d6 electrical. All right. All right. So, Flix, uh, I, I hate to tell you, but I have two more attacks coming. Do they all do 8d8 damage? Uh, no, only that lightning strike, and it is on a recharge, and you know how I roll my recharges. Yeah, that's uh, supremely irritating. 14? Last one. 25 for 13 bludgeoning damage as two solid flail hits one calling uh, down lightning upon your frail little body 
Uh, how much did I take from the lightning? Half of that is 15, 17? So uh, 17... No, so I took a total of 30 damage. Uh, sorry, how are you taking half from the lightning? Absorb I elements? I used absorb elements, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 34 from the lightning. And then the last bludgeoning did 13. I can't believe these guys just do 8d8 damage if they hit you. That's, uh... Uh, it is... Crit. He crit. Oh, right, Like, right, right. he crit. <laughs> that was so all, that was all the melee attacks. not super fair. Yeah, uh, and him critting on that one was not super great. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I wonder where my flail will go. Uh, sigh, even or odd? Even. Hi, Akashaba. Oh, and remove the bless icons from everybody, because... Oh. We did. Ooh, no bless. We ain't blessed. Nobody blessed. This gives uh, you a moment. You guys could also uh, add and remove your own your own debuff icons. Oh, I see it. Okay, cool. Uh, usually we can't when you add them, it seems like. I was able to. Oh, were you? Yeah. I haven't been able to remove bless before. Akashiba, the air elemental floats towards you menacingly and lifts the flail. Twenty-two. Morning flare. <laughs> Turns into a crit. Okay, well. A twenty-two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> still, <laughs> well, still useful. We'll take that. Yep. Uh, you does take. Does morning flare force the reroll, or does it force disadvantage? It's force disadvantage. It's disadvantage. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you take nine bludgeoning damage from the mace, wow. and he calls down the lightning strike. Ah oh, shit. Kashba, you take an extra 17 lightning damage. Make me a DC 13 constitution saving throw, please. Got it. Uh, you succeed, and you are not stunned by the lightning. Nice. Uh, ba -ba -ba, that was the first flail attack. Yeah. Next one coming in. He lifts again to <laughs> smash down. Missing. And nice. the third. Oh. Jesus. I not get to mention I was very bad luck on my last ship. Uh, <laughs> welcome to D&D, &D, Trevor. Lex I... immediately shoots you in the face. <laughs> get off my boat. Uh, Kashima, you... Whew, I low rolled. You take seven <laughs> bludgeoning damage. Oh, That's pretty cash double money. ones. Thank you. That's she pretty... Felt bad. That's pretty cash money. Saithius, you're up. Yeah, uh, this is not something he's ever experienced before. Um, yeah, usually this guy stays in the sky. Uh, he nervously pulls out a shield and does some of the magic that you saw before where he grows out a little seed pod, pulls it into his palm, crushes it, and blows it in the face of the left air elemental. This is a poison spray attack. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, no. I think you roll... Con save. All right. Yeah. The air elemental makes a con save. Or it would if it wasn't immune to poison. Damn. Saithius. Awesome poisonous dust into its whirling. The dust just dissipates everywhere on the ship, and the air elemental chuckles. You just sprayed mace into the wind. The, like, the, ah, ma the mace just goes <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh, I will, I'm going to need to step away temporarily in case I get attacked. I'll be back. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yes, and, you and discovered the air elemental's cool. immunity to poison. Steps away. Uh, takes the opportunity attack if, if necessary, but tries to take full movement away. Uh, you will take two opportunity attacks. Um, do you wish to do that? Nah, I'll stick with the crew. Um, he thinks about it. He uh, plays in his mind of what would happen and how much damage these things could do and just kind of hunkers down. And uh, yeah, he doesn't have any bonus action. Akashiba, you're up. This is not a great situation. Um... Uh... Okay, Akashpa, Akashpa is going to cast Bless. 
Ooh, all right. Nikashaba is blessing. And uh, are you casting it as a first level spell? Yeah, so she's going to be myself, uh, Flix, and Rain. Okay. I will mark yep. you all as blessed, bless, and blessed, and blessed. And Akashiba is going to attack this one with Sword Chan again. Get him, right. Sword Chan. Get him, Sword Chan. It's up to you, Sword Chan. If I can remember where the button for fourth level Sword Chan is. There we go. We're all counting on you, Sword Chan. We believe. Uh, that's hey. Scorching Ray? Is it? Whoops. It is. I'll delete Ignore that. Ignore it! Oh, Sword shit! Chan crit! Sword Chan, Sword Chan crit! It's just like double rolls. Yeah, you can yeah. click the button that just says roll damage down there. On the on the window. Makes it super easy. Blah, blah, blah. Uh alright, you do twenty-one damage with Sword right. Chan. As she neatly slices through the air, uh cutting off an entire ethereal halberd from the air elemental. Uh when it would go clinking to the ground, it just dissipates. Akasha, but does that end your round? It's like Oh! I would tell you two things! What would you like oh. to know? Ooh! Uh, can I get HP on this one and weaknesses, if any? Uh, yes. So I will give the hit points right there. And weaknesses! Dun, 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 dun. Uh, it has no weaknesses. Uh, however, you still have resistances uh, that you do not know and immunities that you do not know. Condition immunities you don't know. A uh, condition immunity. Uh, it is immune to being paralyzed, and you already know it's immune to being poisoned. That's the end of my turn. All right, next step, the air elemental. Flix is back in case something decides to try to murder me. Welcome back. Thanks. Just in time to get murdered. Probably. Uh, yeah. <laughs> elemental flies up this way. Have we tried just going with the flow instead of fighting the wind? Actually, you know what? Hello! I'm not going to have a conversation with you about cooperating with the elementals that are trying to murder us. Sorry. Rain, the air elemental seems to coalesce upon your space. Entering your space and stopping there. This is Akashipa's favorite thing. Mm -hmm. And the air elemental begins to spin about in a whirlwind. Rain, make me a strength saving throw. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bad. Rain, you succeed. Plus, well, I guess I don't need plus. plus. Ha ha! <laughs> uh, Rain, you are not tossed, but the strong winds threaten to dash you against the sides of the boat. Uh, let's see. Rain, you take half the bludgeoning damage, and you're not flung away or knocked prone. So, here comes the damage. Just half of this. You take nine bludgeoning damage from the air elemental's gust of wind. Neat. Uh, Grun's turn. Grun is running. 5, 10, 15, 20. Opens the door. 25, 30. Grabs stuff. Rain, you're up. Um, okay. Uh, Rain is going to step here. Okay. So she is not in the vortex of bad. Um, actually, no, she's going to step here. She will take an attack of opportunity if this guy has not already taken one. Uh, he has not. He swings with the flail. He oh, is at sorry, disadvantage. disadvantage. I'll roll again. It doesn't matter. It misses. Okay. Uh, and she's going to attack 
hit this guy with advantage because she's flanking. Uh, 23 uh, hits. And this way, real quick, roll that. Uh, <laughs> yay, I'm glad my damage is being consistent. Uh, okay. So the main air elemental takes six piercing damage and five fire damage. Okay, so 11. Uh, this guy takes 11 fire damage, though, the one right next to him. All right. As the flame leaps from the air elemental to the other Myrmidon. Uh, and she's going to take her second attack. 21 uh, hits. For another eight piercing damage on this guy. All right. The air and elemental howls. It. Him. It's growing a little smaller as you hit it. Uh, probably not. Uh, Everyone knows it's windy. Let's see. Five, ten. You can just bust those out. You need some kind of prompt. <laughs> Smiling at everybody she sees. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just being contrary. Uh, uh, yeah, Raynal, Raynal, stay there. Can I recommend a there she blows? There she there blows. There she blows again. There you go. <laughs> Right, and does that end your round? Yes, that ends my round. You guys were all too busy singing, so you didn't hear me. Ah, five, 10, 15, 20, Harkin comes in with the rapier. Ha! Huh? Let's see what uh, Harkin, Harkin's gonna do today. Um, did, uh... Well, he's got plus one on everything now. Uh, he does. He's a he's a happy man. All right, hang on. I've got the rapier. Ah! I'm hitting. Stab. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, Harkin is doing stuff. Get him, Harkin. Um, Harkin Get him, with, Harkin. With natural skill. Uh, he swings the rapier with a flourish and stabs at the air elemental, and again freeing a pauldron from its side. It takes 13. Harkin's like, yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> oh, wait, he gets sneak attack damage, too. Hang on. Play my beasts? Play my beasts? <laughs> yep. He, if he didn't have advantage, he gets advantage from flanking, too. Uh, let's roll all that. Where's my sneak attack? Hello. There it is. Roll, please, sir. Nope. You just gotta roll it manually. I always roll it manually. No, it's right there. Ah! Another 12. And we'll just double check for the, uh... For the crit here. That's our chief of security. He's being secure. Someone gets a paycheck this week. All right. Well, let's not be too hasty. <laughs> I mean, he he already got like a sapphire, probably worth five hundred plus gold. So he, I think he he's good. He literally did. Flix, top of the round, round three. You're up. Oh, I'm blessed. Oh, thank you, Akashaba. You're so fucking demeaning. <laughs> I'm not demeaning. That was that was genuine gratitude. In like the three times you've talked to me this fight, it has been where's bless, where's bless. Thank you for bless. <laughs> <laughs> I do other things, you twat. <laughs> I mean, as long as you know your role. Bless bot. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm just going to roll the three attacks, and then we'll figure out if Bless makes any of them hit. Uh, which, what is your target? Okay, so the first one, uh, oh, this one that I'm flanking. Okay. I want to kill it as quickly as possible. Um, does the 18 hit? 18 hits, 12 misses, right. 17 hits. Let's see if the bless helps the 13. Misses. I'm guessing 13 isn't good enough. Okay. All right. Uh, that's still do, 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 do. an additional 10 damage. So 28, 38, uh, 45 damage to this one. Uh, Flix, your last shot with the sharpshooter will kill this air elemental. What do you do? Uh, he rapid fire racks and hammers crossbow, crossbow bolts along the length of its body and the last one impacts on the helm disrupting the whole thing and the armor clanks to the ground before dissolving into a puff of mist 
Flix, does that end your round? Um, I would like to roll insight on this giant elemental here. Go ahead. <laughs> Sad. No. I just don't get to know things about elementals, apparently. Um, I will stay where I am for now. I'll choose where I move in a moment in my next round. All right. Very well. Next up, the air elemental uh, near Akashiba, Harkin, and Saithis. Uh we're going to see if we do the recharge on the lightning strike. Fails. What? Who are you? And what have you done with Christina? I don't know. Uh, so let's go for the target. One to two is going to be Psy. Three, four, Akasha. But four, uh, five and six for Harkin. I forgot what numbers are. Oh, Akasha, but my favorite target. Let's go. Let's go. Akasha, but the flail comes down. 12. Oh. Tw 11. Oh. Crit. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, a warning, warning flare. How warning flare? Warning flare? How could this happen to me? 25. Okay, you can have the normal attack. Okay, I'm gonna have one. I get one. Kashiba, right. you take 12 bludgeoning damage from the single flail attack. Sure, great. Akashiba! Uh, hold on, concentration. You can click the thing. Make it roll. Gotta keep it concentrated. Nope. Nope. Bless is down, boys. Bless. You roll bless with that, too. Oh. Yeah. You just, yeah, have, so to, yeah, you just have to beat a 10. Bless. 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 Bless is back, boys! <laughs> is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, great. Ooh. Yeah, that wasn't that much damage. So I it goes find to it it's very funny. Half the damage. You can roll bless in order to succeed on your concentration for bless. <laughs> Not the bless I'll allow it, but I think That's it's very. Bless. I think it's very lull. Uh, I mean, it it literally hasn't fallen yet, so of course it would apply. We it, love it bless. Is. Bless yeah. is amazing. Uh, sigh. It is your round. You are uh, a air elemental sandwich. This is a, a bad place. Yeah, Sai uh, yells out, you're all crazy to fight the storms. Want to take this inside? And uh, takes the disengage action and runs for the door. Oh, oh shit. He's not making a very strong case for himself, is he? <laughs> no, he's, he's not, hand. I'm afraid. Ah. Inside, deckhand. Everyone's nervous right. their first time. <laughs> Uh, and then he looks back out and he's like, eh? Warmth? And that's his turn. Ikashiba. Uh. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hello? Uh, for some reason it's not letting me progress the turn counter? Hold on. I'm sorry, I'm gonna move you out of the door. Hang on. Skirt. No, be, that's be not right it. Back. Okay. Uh, hey, Ikashiba, you you're up. Looks that's at so you weird. And, and, and shouts. Are you insane? There are valuable things in there. Come back out here and fight. Kashima is going to cast. If he can find it. Um, where is. Uh, mask Cure Wounds. Okay. Yeah. Mask Cure Everyone. Wounds. So, Rain, Flix, and myself will heal for 3d8 plus 3. Dang. Dang! That's a uh, that's up, a heck and heal. Up to six creatures within thirty feet. That's a big yeah. chunky heal. All right, Rain Flix, uh, did you heal as well? I will now. That was that's a good one. That's a uh, fat. The soul is going to attack uh, the air here. I'm gonna attack the air. Um, and yeah, spiritual weapon. Sword Chan 14 hit. Ooh, it misses. Sorry, Sword, Sword Chan. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, and blood. Roll... no blood. There, it has to have blood to excite it. I'm going to roll insight. What would you uh, like to know? HP bar. Very well. There you are. That's the end of the turn. 
All right, next up, the air elemental. We'll check the recharge on the whirlwind. It is a four to six. Oof. Fails. Who was the last person to hit this air elemental? Flix? No, because he it hit the Myrmidon. Rain. rain? Okay. Yeah, I think Rain's the only one who's hit it in a while. All right, Rain. The elemental is going to make two slam attacks turning mm -hmm. on you. Oh, sorry, this is going to be with disadvantage. Apologies. It's fine. It's missed. That's a miss. All right, next up, attack with disadvantage. And a 12. That's missed. Uh, and it moves into your space. You can stop doing that. Whoosh. Uh, meanwhile, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, double move, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Grunt comes back with the staff. Uh, what's, it was a staff of the what? Staff of the, the who's it? I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Like neither of them actually give any bonuses and require attunement, but they're at least magic weapons to hit things with. So uh, it was a staff of the adder, so it'd just be like a quarter staff. Uh huh. Uh, and then the other one was a short sword, the crystal short sword. I think they both require attunement, but uh, basically, you, can, what? you should be able to hit things with it though. Yeah, it's still yeah. Technically you can't magical. Take advantage of their other magical properties, but magic right. That's why I'm saying it doesn't. This is a hit and stuff. That's why I'm saying like the rest of it doesn't really matter. Uh, staff of the adder. So I can just add that to this character and he'll automatically have it. Pretty cool. Alright. So staff of the adder. Oop. It's equipped! Uh, so you can use a bonus action to speak the staff's command word, make the head of the staff become that of an animated poisonous snake for a minute. Oh, you can't but they're do that, immune though. to poison! <laughs> He can't do that because he's not attuned to it anyway. Oh, that's true. Okay. Both, both of these weapons require attunement. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, so all he can do is hit with it, which is fine for the purposes of this particular engagement. Hit the thing. He's gonna he's gonna try and hit the thing. Uh oh, but Grun is an orc. And orc has everybody's favorite ability. Aggressive! He can move up to his speed towards an enemy of your choice that you can see or hear. Hey! Uh, oh, mind if I join you? Damn. Uh, and he lifts the uh, the crystal blade. Uh, and he hits. And it's uh, it doesn't take the extra one d eight, but he's just gonna do long sword damage. Ah! Grun getting in there. Yes, I can feel the power of the sword. Does he have a strength bonus at least that he gets to add? He, he does. Yeah. Uh, one, okay. Apologies, thank you very much. Rain, I mean, you're up. I mean, he's got so many muscles. He, he do, he do. Rain, you're up. Uh, you are in the air elemental. Yeah, not a big, not a big fan. She's gonna zip out of the air elemental. Um, and, and I think she's just going to attack. Mm, nope. Uh, bless. Nope. I'll roll them both real quick. Uh, I'll roll bless on that first one. Fourteen, 14. misses. All right, so he takes seven piercing damage. Okay. Uh, we'll say the first one was green flame blade because I almost always do green flame blade on the first attack anyway. All right. That is Rain's turn. All right, next up, Harkin. Wielding his rapier plus one. Uh, moves. Like it, Harkin. Uh, I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, and now he's going to attack with advantage. Uh, terribly missing. Harkin. Wow. I'm doing my best. 
<laughs> God! God! Damn it, Harkin! Leave me alone! <laughs> that's a that's a rain damage roll. There we go. He's getting my damage rolls on his sneak attacks, though. Although his rapier hits are left something to be desired, he seems to have found a weak point under the uh, helmet of the Myrmidon and is jamming his rapier into the back of its skull area. Ah, no, I, I, no. I'm going to pry this off! <laughs> if you get it off, you can wear it around the ship with, like, a hat. No. Top of the round, round four. Flicks, you are up. I've got you, Rain. I will zip over and uh, do my best to murder the shit out of this giant elemental. Uh, uh, I'm missing terribly. Uh, let's see if the first one hits. Uh, that's 13. I'm going to guess that's, that's a, a no. miss. That's a miss. And the best that I can do is a 13. Wow, that is. That's sharpshooter. That's sharpshooter. It is. Well, I mean, it, I also rolled badly. Um, however, I still do 20 damage. All right, 20 damage. Not bad, but some of your crossbow bolts are just caught up by the wind. Lex, does that end your round? It does. All right. I don't think we have anything left to insight, right? Uh, you. There are still things that you have not learned. I believe they are condition immunities. Uh, I'll do a quick insight. I, my insight checks haven't been stellar anyway. Oh, finally. Uh, yeah. Conditioned immunities for this fellow. Uh, it is immune to being exhausted. Oh, well then. Color me jealous. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kashaba, you're going to be a one and a two. Oh, actually, this guy's going to first see if he recharges his lightning strike on a six. Fails. Uh, Kashaba, you're going to be one and two, and then going around uh, for the flail, flail attack. Ooh. Hooray! Nice. Kashaba, let's, let's yeah. go. Esports! Oh, God. <laughs> 20. Warding flare. Imposing disadvantage. Um, 26. Okay. okay, 20. Okay, that'll do. Okay. Yep. 11 bludgeoning damage from the first flail strike. Uh huh. Concentration check. Succeeds. Very well. I shall test you again, Akashaba, with a 27. Yeah, that'll hit. Doing 9 bludgeoning damage. Uh huh. Your concentration is being tested. Oh, I, I'm thinking keep, about it. Keep the bless. Yeah. 25? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> keep the bless, for the love of God. Yeah. 10 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Bless, 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 bless. Oh, no! Wait, wait, wait. Bless! Roll the bless. bless for the bless. You have to roll a four. You have to roll a four. Oh. Oh. All right, guys, remove your blesses, please. Please remove your blesses. It was fun while it lasted. Sad. Akashaba, I... right click your token, and then uh -huh. it should be uh, on the right, the little like dude surrounded by an aura. And then okay. unclick the one. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Unclick my bug. Uh, say, let me get. Uh, Sai, you're up. Uh, this air elemental is hammering the, the cleric of the light. And yeah, his magical I mean, prowess like, wavers. He's got some uh, affinity towards Akashiba so far. <laughs> however you pronounce it. Um, he yells out to the, the dog man, like, Hey, hey, dog man! Uh, great, great you, you get a there, what Akashiba from Harkin? <laughs> Give me your sword! Um, use my full movement to get up next to Harkin. And <laughs> convince him to give me the rapier. <laughs> give me the rock! Uh, make me a persuasion <laughs> check. 
Huff puff pass. <laughs> Stab, Grun, Grun pass. was supposed to bring the uh, short sword and the Grun, staff out. Grun did bring both. One was specifically for Sai, but it's uh, fine. He, he does have both, but uh, Sai, do you want the weapon from Grun, or do you want to ask Harkin? I wanted to ask Harkin, because uh, okay. he was using a rapier. He didn't do a great job with it, and I think I could do better. Uh, with a four persuasion. No, fuck off! <laughs> Uh, that's honestly that's fair. That's that's a fair response. <laughs> hey, Harkin. Hey, Kashima. Well, fine. And he um he just raises his hand and um pulls out another seed and and blows it into the wind towards these guys. So no idea if this is gonna be bad or not. He creates a straight line from himself in between the party um to hit both of the air elementals with a gust of wind. Oh. I'll throw Where? wind at the wind! <laughs> throw, wind throw caution to the wind! Also more wind! Uh, okay, let's see. They have to do strength saving throws, uh, or be pushed. Alright, we'll start with the Myrmidon. Strength saving throw. I can't believe they're not immune oh. to those. Uh, succeeds. Air elemental. Yes. Strength saving throw. Succeeds. <laughs> so yeah, I just blew at the wind. Uh, you made them bigger! <laughs> you made them larger! <laughs> yup, that's my turn. <laughs> Christina, you know the title of this VOD has to be Throw Caution to the Wind. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's so good. Akashiba, you're up. You have eight hit points. It's Akash probably more of a watches. sigh than like a blow. <laughs> Akashiba like watches this whole scene unfold. Like sigh, walk up and ask Harkin for the weapon or basically say to Harkin that he's doing a bad job. And he can do better. And then Harkin going, fuck you. <laughs> and then Sai blowing this wind. And Akashiba just fucking frowns. <laughs> Harkin, Harkin, just share the weapon with him next time. You, uh, you gotta share. Uh, uh, why would Harkin share the weapon? Grun literally has a short sword or a staff for the for the lad. Uh, Grun, in his deep voice, uh, says, young one, just wait, I... I'll get I'll get you this, and he hands he will hand you the crystal blade on his turn. All right, we'll, we'll see if I accept it. <laughs> okay, Akashima, it's your turn. Yeah, Akashima's gonna uh, cast Radiance of the Dawn. So, uh, yeah, DC fifteen Cod. Okay, gonna start with the guy in front of you. Hey. Uh, fails, okay. takes nineteen damage. Uh huh. The light pierces. Uh, next one, con saving throw. Succeeds. Yeah, so he takes a... Uh, what is it? Uh, nine? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then the sword is going to swing again at the air elemental. Uh, sword Chan's going to have to get a little closer. She's on a dead target right now. Oh, wait. Oh, then... Sorry. Sorry, you meant the one... At, yeah, you're good. Sorry, you can move her back. Jabber elemental. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Yep, and swing. Does the sword count as a creature? No. Uh, no, it does not. Okay, uh, 18 hits. Oh god. Uh, 18 hits! Wow! Uh, sword chant do is doing work. As the magical sword continues to cut away the era elemental's very being. Akashaba, does that end your round? Uh, yeah. Akashaba's gonna roll in sight. Uh, he, rolls it on, he rolls it on Psy. Okay, what would you like to know about Psy? What is with his fucking people talk? Like, how does, <laughs> what is he doing? He's walked up to Harkin and was like, yeah, you suck with that. Let me get in <laughs> on that. <laughs> uh, Psy's charisma is nine. Mm -hmm. Akash will kind of like, ah, and that's the end of his turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, meanwhile, an air elemental Chan town uh, he is going to try and recharge the Whirlwind on a four to six. Succeeds. Uh, yep, that's don't fair. Like that. That's fair. Here it goes. <laughs> oh boy, here that's it goes. That's not fair. We don't like that. Uh, that's... Oh, but I'm right here. Where are you going? Nah, he wants he wants rain. It's fine. Oh, wait, Christina, real quick. That's reasonable. Um, the strain saving throw also has to be at the beginning of the creature's turns. Uh, let me check one sec. For a uh, gust of wind? Each creature that starts in uh, its turn in this line must succeed on a strength saving throw or be oh. pushed. Oh, shit. Okay. Start of the turn. Strength saving throw. Uh, what's the DC? 
Uh, 15. Oh, Sorry, shit. 14. 14. Uh, he fails. Hang on. Oh, that's awesome. You push the elemental out of position. Uh, how many well, feet? Well, I mean, he can move back. How many feet yeah. does he push? Yeah, attacks of opportunity. Uh, push 15 feet, and yeah. Okay. Oh, no, it's involuntary no. movement. It's yeah, involuntary, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. That's fine. All right. That's it. Your, your wind gust at the start of his round pushes him precariously off the edge of the ship. But the air elemental, as a being of air, floats back forward. Uh, uh, there we go. That's... I mean, it wasn't nothing. I appreciated the thought. It was a good, I, you know, it pushed. Yeah. Uh, however, yeah. the air elemental has an insanely high speed and innate flying. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Rain, make me a DC 13 strength saving throw. Nope. Bless. I don't have bless. Oh, yeah, it's bless down. got knocked off. No. All right, Rain. Throw me, throw me where I will go. You take 22 Oops. bludgeoning damage, and you're flung in a random direction and knocked prone. Rain, I am going to roll a d12 to decide your random direction. This will be like a clock face. Mm-hmm. A five. Uh, I'm going to grab your token. Hang on. 20 feet away the, and a five o'clock motion. So we're going to go this way. Uh, you are going to hit Harkin probably. Well, we wouldn't keep run. Wouldn't uh, she rather run into the Myrmidon? Uh, actually, she probably would slam into that. <clears throat> if a thrown target strikes an object such as wall of the floor, a target takes three bludgeoning damage for every 10 feet it was thrown. The rain you were thrown 10 feet and you hit... Oh. So you only take 2d6 bludgeoning damage from the distance you were thrown. After you hit the Myrmidon, you take 6 bludgeoning damage, and you are prone. If the target is thrown at another creature, that creature must succeed on a dc13 dexterity saving throw, or take the same damage and be knocked prone. Uh, rain is not magical damage, so it does not need to make this check. Grun. He moves this way and attempts to use his action to hand the crystal blade to Scythus. Sci, Sci, sorry. What do you do? Here, take it, can boy. I, can I visually see if it's like a, a well balanced light blade that can use finesse? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, well, I will show you exactly what it is. Hang on. Crystal blade. It's visibly a short sword, so it should be readily apparent. IMO. Obviously, Christina's the final determiner, determiner of that. I assume the answer is yes, but like he would certainly refuse a great sword or something. Yeah, uh, no, it it's is, a, it's a it short is a short sword. sword. Cool. Yeah, readily takes it uh, to pull any object. All right, I'm going to put this currently in your uh, inventory in the forge because it's a little bit faster for me to do this. Sure. Because so I, I could just drag and drop. Fine, he doesn't get to keep it, so we don't need to put it in his D and D Beyond sheet. He didn't earn this shit. Yeah, he didn't. Uh, crystal blade. Not yet, anyway. Let's see if I hit anything. Yeah, we'll see. Um. <coughs> okay, sorry, one second. Otherwise, I will just have you roll as a short sword. Okay, sorry, it doesn't want to do it, so I'm actually going to just equip a short sword for you. Cool. All right, uh, if you double click on your character sheet under your weapons, I have currently equipped to you a short sword plus one, or you can use the thing I just uh, linked in the chat, but it is equipped. And you can either click the attack button on the side of your screen. Oh, thank you, Rain. Uh, to automatically just do damage with the short sword plus one. Cool. Rain, you're up. You are prone. Why do you have half cover? That's I'm using that for just to remember mirror image. 
But oh, okay. Nothing's actually hit me yet, so Rain will stand up. Okay. Um. Hmm. Actually, Rain is going to. She's going to throw a firebolt at that guy. Oh! Does a fourteen hit? Oh my god! Are you really? Are you hitting uh, this one? Yeah. Uh, fourteen misses. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. Comes over here. Um, okay. Well, that's Rain's turn. <laughs> oh, poor Rain. Uh, Arkin, meanwhile, with his rapier plus one, uh, <laughs> is flanking with the Kashaba. Oh, this guy actually got an attack of opportunity on Rain. If he wanted it. Oh, he did. He do. Rain. Disadvantage? Yep. 22? Uh, 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 she will cast shield. Alright. Lucky you. Not Re really. I reaction your reaction. <laughs> Alright, Akashiba. Let's finish this thing off. Quickly, please, Arkin. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. <laughs> uh, Harkin attacks with advantage. Hey. Uh, he's going to do it again. And hey. he's going to do both those things. And he's going to sneak attack. All right. Here it comes. The damage. Hey. Okay. It's not very good, Harkin. Come on. Harkin. Come on, buddy. All right. How the sneak attack? Ha! Ah! Ooh, Jesus. Uh, 35 is not bad. Uh, 35. Not uh, enough to finish it, but. Harkin does exactly what he says he would do and oh, pops that helmet right off. Ah! I, yeah, I got it! I got it! Harkin, I'm so proud of you. Uh, top of the round. Round five. Flix, you're up. Uh, Flix will zip up here gonna fill this ring with castings of blood and uh, he's <laughs> going to do his utmost to murder this thing um it has very few hit points left so we're going to maximize our chances of hitting oh wow all three of those hit all right let me add the sneak attack damage 11 sneak attack so that is 26 37, 40, 50, it's enough. Five. <laughs> uh, Flix, this will kill the air elemental. What do you do? As you you find its core, where its magic is most potent. Uh, yeah, spiraling through the air, uh, like leaping over these crates, uh, Flix slides in position and just slams crossbow bolts that should fly right through it up into its center where they splinter and fragment and the whole thing spirals into oblivion. <sighs> My crossbow bolts. Are we all alive? And Kasha this... was like, face is bloodied from being hit with a fucking mace so many times. <laughs> I'm fine. And that sends the combat with the air elemental. Akashua walks, <laughs> walks over to Harkin and, and throws up the bro five to Harkin. Yeah. Oh, you did it. That was very good, Harkin. That's, that's the strong Harkin I know. Uh, yeah, I, well, I, I'm not really used to walking around on the friendly ship, but the hair flicks, he tosses you the rapier back. Yeah, Flix catches it deftly and uh, shoots it. We should do something about everyone's weaponry, though. I don't think anyone should be walking around unarmed. Uh, yeah. Sai is, like, edging away, like, oh, I'll get back to my deckhand duties. Why is he so fucking sketchy? <laughs> it, is, it does inspire 
Oh, wow, that feels amazing. What did you do, Akashaba? Ooh. It's Bell. So this is assuming Akasha was hanging out here and like prepping the spell. Um, Grun, do you want to recollect the the armaments from the lanky one for now? The uh, towering Grun looks down at you. I think I may scare him off. I don't. I mean, that's kind of half the point. Hmm. He stomps away. <laughs> nope, he's that way, Grun. Uh -huh. He looks left, right. He points left. Over by Esther. <laughs> yeah. So we were, we were told things would come at us, you know, because we have Lakaris on ship. Uh, it's, uh, I guess, a pretty good preview of what it's going to be like. It's going to be like this constantly. Maybe. Maybe. Uh -huh. We're going to have to ensure that everyone has magical weapons at the very least, or at least, you know, those who contribute. No one's deep sleeper. Uh, that shouldn't be an issue, though I should sleep closer to the top deck. Uh, Sai, a very large, burly orc, broad shoulders, uh, appears to try and approach you. Uh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, nope. No, nothing to see here. Just doing my do my duty. Uh, I try to um, jump over the banister here. Uh, make me an acrobatics check. Oh nope. Uh, you're prone. <laughs> you're down here and you're prone. Uh, uh, something about air. It's just it's not right. Oh, not get incapacitated. Sorry, <laughs> air. You don't have Jeez. your air legs yet. That sword doesn't belong to you. Give it back. I. Grun leans I... lazily oh, no. over the railing. Sai, um, you look cold and back. miserable. Yeah, th this is awful. You guys are talking about vampires and dragons, and then you just how attack about, the wind, and it hurts how you about more you, than wind. Yeah, no, you need to start. You need to talk less, a lot less. Honestly, Flix talks enough for everybody here. You're talking too much. That's true. I really. Why? Do. Why here? Yes. Why don't you give Grun the sword back, and why don't you come with me? Let's get you something to keep you warm, at least. Oh, okay. And maybe some shoes. Yeah, shoes would be great. Where did Akashaba go? Are you all right, Akashaba? A nap, and Char's in his room, so, uh... But! <laughs> bum, ba, dum, ba. Akashaba leaves. Char intimidates him. Too smart. Um... I got the apple bottom. Too much brain. Um, Char, what are you doing in my room? She she has, a like, a journal in her hands and a, a quill in the other. Uh, taking notes? And where were you during the fight? What? Taking notes. She looks down. <laughs> uh, in fact, I gleaned a significant amount of information from your interactions with the air elementals. And in fact, this confirms the theory that Lacaris is putting out a significant amount of uh, magical power and potentially attracting things around it. Now, due to the... Uh, she begins to go off a little bit more into the arcane, uh... Depending on, you know, if you want to listen or black out. Let's move this conversation out of the room. Let Akashaba get some rest. Oh, she goes over. Akashaba, oh dear, yes. It, those air elementals did have a very strong manifestation, almost entirely physical. She places a hand on your forehead. <laughs> oh, hey, poor yeah. thing. Maces to the face, so if you don't mind, I think I might just try to sleep that off. Yes, you should rest. I'll have, um, not Frank bring you some food later. Oh, Thank will you, you like some stew? Usually makes you feel better. I don't look, I don't I, I feel like for the last like five minutes, we haven't necessarily respected the rules of like we should be in the same room when we're talking to each other. But I'm I gonna, where I am, so yeah. I just assumed I was in the room. I don't know where you are. Yeah, I actually, don't, you here. just disappeared where are on you? my screen. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, where? Did he fall off the ship already? Oh, hold on. I'm like, where are you? I actually don't see you on the map. I feel I like he was right in dark. Can, can you ping? <laughs> he fell off. Did you delete yourself? Not intentionally. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, you're back. You're you're prone. You're prone. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to be deleted. I don't. I don't want to. I was promised safety. 
<laughs> All I got was disappointment. Uh, the orc comes down the the stairs and offers you a hand to help you up. Oh, thank you. Here's here's your sword. Uh, I just wanted to be useful. Up, get up. It goes about um. Sai over here. <clears throat> Grun and Harkin, uh, begin to speak. In low voices. Sigh. It's not letting me go up. Only oh, are you right. considered stuck to the wall or something? Uh, <clears throat> here, let me try and move you. Go ahead. There we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Here, Sai. Uh, Rain hands you a... Uh, a thick leather mantle trimmed with arctic fox fur. Oh, yeah. Put, put this so on for now. Um, it'll help you keep warm. Um, Char, do we have any extra pairs of, like, boots or something for our castaway? Oh, you know, I should have some spare basic leathers. But do we need a... Oh, she looks down at size feet. My goodness, you're barefoot. Yeah. Been a rough couple weeks, months. I, I don't even know. Well, she kind of grimaces. Rain, unfortunately, what I have isn't going to be tempered for the Arctic environment. It's simply basics, but shoes are shoes. Basics are better than bare feet. This is true. I'll get, find you the warmest pair I, I can. I'll have Frank help me. Frank. Frank! Frank! Frank really knows boots. <laughs> Fucking Frank! <laughs> oh, great shooting, Mr. Duke. Um, nice job. Oh, and I'm locked upstairs. <laughs> Char, Char has locked the door behind her. Um, I'm not used to this. Where's the bunks for the deckhands? Oh, downstairs, where you were sleeping as a little kitty cat. Um, to the left and to the right of the mess hall, actually. There are hammocks. Are they assigned, or should I just take an open one? Probably not the one uh, that Blink is currently occupying. Um, you'll know Blink when you meet Blink. Don't look in Blink's eyes. <laughs> Okay. Or do, if that's your thing. I don't know. Definitely don't. Def Probably don't. Don't. Hey, hey, come here, Sai. Yes. Look, um, you did your best, and perhaps different tactical choices could have been made, but the point is that you had the courage to stand and fight alongside us, and that's not nothing. He literally oh. ran away. <laughs> well, he came back, though. I a shout that you're asleep. The closed door, <laughs> you should be <laughs> sleeping. Got it. <sighs> um... Yeah, it's, anyway. it's been a long time since I've been in a fight, but I, I promise I can hold my own. Um, I believe you. I believe that the point is that you showed courage. And you were thinking tactically. I respect that, too. I'm just saying thank you for not immediately running and actually hiding. He, like, kind of nods, knowing that he was con uh, considering hiding the entire time. <laughs> yeah, well, Flex is going to give that a pass. I have, uh, I see, I see great things in you. <laughs> Is that good or bad? That's up to you. Oh, I, I, I will, if it's good. Thank you. <laughs> A little encouragement never hurt anyone. I'm going to go curl up on Akashaba and help him rest. I'm here to help you rest, Akasha. But... Akasha's <laughs> actually just snoring. Oh, excellent. I curl up somewhere on Akasha and keep him warm. Grun, do we have any idea how far out we are from Rhymefang's lair? We've still got about three hours to go, but it seems like after the air elementals dissipated, 
The winds uh, pressing up against our ship seem to have also dissipated. We're making a little bit better time now. I'd oh, say two that's hours. Good. Great. Um, well, that's not enough time to get an appreciable nap. So, up here it is. Hey, hey Rain? Uh, Harkin steps to your side. Y yes, Harkin? How closely do you want me to keep an eye on that newcomer of yours? Um, Sai. Yeah, him. Um, I mean, we should keep an eye on him to make sure he doesn't fall off the side of the ship. I don't <laughs> think he's particularly... I think he's mostly harmless, um, at least to us. Uh, he had so, plenty of opportunity to murder us, uh, if that was his intention, so... Uh, I mean, should keep him keep a close enough eye and make sure he doesn't fall off the ship. And, or get into anything that maybe he shouldn't, like, maybe he shouldn't poke around Lacaris. Yeah, But I, I think that's really... a good rule for most people. Yeah, I don't like him hanging around it. I'll maybe keep him away can... from it. Maybe we can find him a nice bunk so he can rest. I think making sure he has some warm food in his belly and some warm clothes and maybe he can dry off would be a good start. He seems to have had a rough time. All right, I'll go see to him. Thank you, Hawken. Hey, 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 you. Uh, I mean, um, hey, ps, um, Sai. I would like to formally challenge you to a duel when it's appropriate. I'm just not a fan of you. The way you behave back there. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> uh, Harkin. <laughs> Harkin's eyebrows shoot up into his uh, generous hairline. <laughs> he takes a step closer. Uh, the the tall, lanky yeah, bugbear. I keep, <laughs> I keep uh, a good like fencing distance between the two of us, if possible. Uh, his toothy grin. He leans forward a little bit, his long arms kind of dangling at the side. Oh, is that right, boy? <laughs> that, that's right, and like, size hand goes... No to, fighting uh, on the ship! Uh, um, oh, sorry, Rain. Uh, Harkin... It stands up straight. Uh, uh, I was just about to ask him, uh... We we're about to set the terms of our duel. Oh, yeah! Dueling, dueling is for children and fops. Now go see to a hammock and get some warm food. You are not the captain. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do later. Duel later. Uh, listen, I can't duel anybody that's barefoot. Come on. Uh, honestly, Sai, the sooner that you recognize that Flicks, that what? I, Rain, and Akashaba really are the, the employers and in charge of this ship the better it will go for you. Do you All understand? All you do is dance with what? the winds. Who locked Looks this like door? I'm telling you, I'm telling you exactly how things are, Sai. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't a negotiation or interpretation on your part. I am telling you what the situation is. This Please. is literally Ray. turning into uh, the real world airship edition. <laughs> we are in charge. God. And Jesus. everyone else here is an employee. You can be an employee too and even draw a wage. Perhaps even a partner at some point if you prove yourself. But this continued nonsense about I want to speak to the captain, that simply won't do. Do you understand? No, but <laughs> I, will, I will follow Flicks, what I think you're saying. Flix sighs deeply. All right, well, we all do the best that we can. He's almost as insufferable as you are, Flix. Honestly, oh, that's impressive. I'm impressed. <laughs> Flix <laughs> slams the door inadvertently waking <laughs> Akashima. Akashaba, can you cast Bless into my ring some more? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I Go away. Akashaba literally turns his whole body and like faces the wall and goes back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but I know you can't. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh. I could just stay here. No, go with Harkin. <laughs> huh? What? Uh, Harkin has a leather vest and some dry pants and socks in his hand, uh, along with some boots. Uh, we, we uh, found yes, these in the hole. Hiding in the uh, storage closet. Uh, he looks around. 
He's right. in here, Hawken. <laughs> He's in the washroom. What? Oh. Oh. Is he gonna swab the deck? Or whatever it's called? Is it any point to swab the deck when it's have we have torrential rain outside? That seems counterproductive. Although it does sound like one of those things that a cruel captain would like force a deckhand to do as like punishment. Yeah, that's very true. That that checks out. Oh, see, uh, I've heard of such things, but honestly, it all seems silly to me. Well, listen, I have these dry clothes, and you don't even have to duel me for them. <laughs> he, he holds them out to Psy. So here you go. I'm good. Thank you, though. <laughs> he hands them to Rain. What if I hand them to you and then you would give them to him? He hands the clothes to you, Rain. There. Rain, Rain just mage he hands them steps and just back. dumps them, like, directly on top of Psy. Definitely try to dodge that, but otherwise go along with it. You have some <laughs> privacy. Put on some fucking dry clothes. Wait, we have some bunks down. down. Did you tell him about the bunks? He yes, you're going to, to. You're gonna. You're going to take him to a bunk when he's done in there. We'll give him some privacy, and then you're going to take him to a bunk so he can rest. Because <sighs> we have a lot of very hard work to do in a few short hours. All right. Arkin shuts the doors. And, like, can we stop locking these damn doors for no ah! reason? Or at least I need a set of keys. Well, we're, we're gonna have to get those made in Maginox. Yeah, what, what if... No, like, let's just not lock the doors unnecessarily. I was Why trying to keep him in! <laughs> Arkin <laughs> bristles. <laughs> <laughs> lock all the doors, lock him in. <laughs> Gosh about flicks. Uh, if you're trying to sleep, it's good, good fucking luck. Uh, Harkin is yelling. Oh, Jesus. Akashima gets up, makes for the door. All of you, shut up! <laughs> he goes back. What? I... <laughs> Harkin dissolves into. You might as well just do it. Cheap, cheap bugbear epithets. Come on. Do it. Akashima what? gets very grumpy when he doesn't get his nap after a fight. Oh. <laughs> Clarence. Flicks, Flicks brandishes the ring. <laughs> Akashima literally fucking slaps your hand. <laughs> <laughs> he just slaps your hand and then goes back to bed. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's. Flicks! <laughs> all right, all right, fine. Where's Rain? Darkin jams the thumb behind him. Over here. <laughs> Gosh, I'm gonna sleep! <laughs> he yells. What do you think I'm trying to do? Harkin <laughs> 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 bristles. Yes, oh, yes, Oh, you haven't had a chance to rest. You'll likely need those spells for yourself. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like, Flix? Oh, I was just gonna refill the ring. But uh, we don't have enough time before we arrive at the uh, lair, and, uh, well. What would you like, Flix? Um, uh, another casting of Absorb Elements? Done. Mm. Thank you. Also, for the record, I'm not going to be this one's mother. So, we're going to have to figure something out. Because I oh, cannot take two flicks. Yes, who else would I be talking? Oh, I mean, no, Harkin's fine. <laughs> I mean, you know, subject to interpretation a bit there. Sorry. I understand. Um, Sorry. Uh, the banging on the clear. door continues. Wait, what banging? Banging a witch door? Uh, Harkin is banging he's on the door. That he's in the in. wash closet. We got him some dry clothes so he could change, and he's being obstinate, and it's a whole thing. Harkin, he's like Harkin, a stop. toddler. Harkin, stop. needs some rest. If he wants to hide in a closet, let the lad hide in the closet. If Harkin opens the door, Sai is just like sitting, sitting cross-legged on the floor, just meditating, staring at the wall. Uh, he, he does not open the door, actually. Oh, gotcha. It's, it's fine. Oops. Lock him in there for now, and we'll deal with it later. 
It's clear that he's had a difficult time of things, the young one. Let's, oh, let's, yes. Let's move he's... this conversation someplace where it's less likely to disturb Akasha, but shall we? He did get the worst of that fight. Don't help not... you guys. Someone wakes me up again. <laughs> I mean, fireball. This is, Whole ship like, is just this is, fireball. Lex is speaking quietly now. I know, I know. I'm just saying. The next person who, like, a Akashma will just burn down this whole thing. Like, <laughs> the stapler guy from Office Space. Like, I'm just going to burn down. this whole place to the fucking ground. I'm burn this whole fucking ship to the ground. Shark, can you just do me a favor and lock the wash closet? Oh, the wash just, closet? My yes. floor. Size in there. Uh, uh, oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. You heard me. Uh, Sigh. You hear Shar from the other side of the door. Yes. Did you get the clothes I sent? Oh yeah, they're right here. They're great to sit on. <laughs> good, good. Are you comfortable? Oh, oh yes. Uh, this is very strange. Um, yes, they're called um, sponges. Yes. Role and and just ignores me most of the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Flix zips over. Uh, Shaw, can we not have conversations that are called through doorways? Akasha is trying to sleep. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Yeah, everything is audible everywhere on the ship. <laughs> you guys knew that. Your ship. That is true. <laughs> and you have no captain. Oh. And oh. you fight the wind. Yes, yes, please just lock, lock the I door can... and let's come have a conversation in here. You think I'm going to assassinate you? <laughs> I have to presume that perhaps he was yes. hit very hard on the head repeatedly, or whoever raised him abused him. I, I don't know exactly what's happening, but the lad's obviously had a rough time of it, and... Well, well he's obviously he some kind of castaway of some kind from the islands. He has no idea where he is, and yes, he's in a rough state, so... In fact, I mean, he obviously has not been braving the waters around Arctis. Even the most trained of sailors that have been in the area not only treat with the Tritons, but generally have, well, clothes to weather the winter. Did you see that poor lad's feet? The frostbitten, lucky they weren't rotting. Yes, something is happening there. That's all I'm saying. Perhaps he has a malady of the mind. Maybe a Kashaba could do him a kindness and... Pray for him when he awakes. You were going to say do him a kindness and lobotomize him, and I thought you were no, but, being but, ridiculous. No, but perhaps part of his brain is merely frosted over with, you know, frost. Or perhaps perhaps he comes from a culture with mores that we don't understand. Also That's that. possible, right? I'm not particularly learned of the <clears throat> southern cultures, <clears throat> but all we'd know is he is a southerner. He somehow got to Arctis, and, well, he's half a popsicle. He seems more well, confused than anything. Either way, I don't think he's terribly trustworthy for the time being, so I would prefer him to not have free run of the ship um, without at least some kind of oversight um, for the time I don't being. Think, I don't at think least walking while him in his quarters is the right response either though right well if he chooses not to come out i think it's fine for now oh, um, he had, he seemed if he would like to come out strong self-preservation instinct at least what i observed from the battle however what i'm concerned with is that flix is intimately aware of the power of the winds of arctis and that boy he's a shapeshifter yes if so he, it seems well if he decides to one day turn into a bird and attempt to fly off this airship, we'll never see him again. Oh, and he'll very likely be torn to meat and feathers. I see what you mean. She nods. So and perhaps he seems keeping to lack the sense to heed any warnings. She nods. That I, effect. He may not be aware of just how treacherous the winds of Arctis are. This airship provides us a little bit of, well, protection from it, but anything that's going to get airborne is simply going to get torn apart unless you're an el elemental itself. Either way, I think locking him in there for now is fine. I think it's where he would prefer to be. Um, we've certainly tried to coax him out. Doesn't work. Let him be there. Let him rest. It's not that he can't get out when he wants to get out. He'll just have to let somebody know. Ah! <clears throat> Char holds up a finger. He's... He was a cat when he found him, yes? Yes. Perhaps we can leave him treats. 
to where he should be going. <laughs> that sounds... <laughs> Actually, that sounds like a brilliant idea, Sean. Uh, in then. fact, this would work on... I'm half concerned it would work on Flix just as well as our new companion. Flix hmm. scowls at you. What treats are we talking about here? Oh, well, for you, uh, Sharp in between her fingers, flicks up I don't. what appears to be a platinum piece. It glints oh, in the well, light. You're on the right track, I'll say that much. I, I don't mean to interrupt this lovely conversation about our stowaway, but we are just about Char drops it on the ground out. right here. I we are about it an, up into my hands. <laughs> we are about <laughs> Got an you. hour as... We are very close <laughs> to being at Rhyme Fang's cavern. Oh, we're making good time. We Why are we going very so good fast? Time, according to Grun, Grun uh, nods. Now that the uh, elementals are dead, Tailwind. Uh, so we should make sure we have some kind of plan for uh, as quickly as possible acquiring the Borean shards, getting them in our hold, and getting the hell out of here because I think we are going to be, well, we're going to be in orcish airspace, so to speak. Indeed. And we are a rather large target, even compared to what we had previously been uh, on the back of Prismata. Yes, Honestly, most assuredly. my plan was for you to uh, polymorph someone into something extremely strong, and then I could enlarge that individual to be even larger. Thus, they we could gather up many crystals at once and move them a rapid fire. They or have perhaps... to be able to get out of the cave, though. The cave was... Very small. I assume Rhymefang didn't uh, I actually use the it. Gate, I thought the gate to the cave was big enough that the dragon could fit through. Was, was it? It looked the, pretty the gate, small. The gate was pretty big. He, he oh, could okay. probably squeeze through, yeah. Okay. Well, then I can make somebody something rather strong, um, like the giant ape. Um, and then if we can land doable. an airship right outside, we should be able to very quickly move the crystals back and forth. Yes, we will have to confer with Esther to see where exactly we can land the airship. We'll need a wide open space, but I'm not the pilot. She'll tell you the exact location. We'll also need people doing Overwatch. Harkin, I believe this falls into your realm of responsibilities as chief of security. Harkin sal salutes. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Um, and then that leaves making sure we have the cure place to store all the crystals where they're not be damaged and not cause any other side effects. We should ensure that, you know, Morris has a place in mind for them. He is our resident Borean shard expert. It's true, but we do have a significant amount of storage, storage we've allocated for down in the hold. And in fact, we can store a massive amount of Borean shards of, well, most sizes there. We have all the empty rooms on the side for storage. Excellent. I just want to make sure that Morris is prepared and is able to safely secure them. Of course, if we have because to knock down a couple will walls, happen we will. quite quickly. Um, I can only do one polymorph. I luckily was able to save it in that last fight, so we have an hour, and we'll have to get everything out within an hour. Mm. Oh, that should be more than doable. And if we are attacked during that time, I can't promise I'll be able to maintain concentration on the spell. Failing that, I can enlarge one other individual for a full minute. That should be enough time to transport quite a few crystals. Let's see. Hold on. Just look at if whoever is enlarged is strong and able to work quickly, I think Grun would be a good candidate for that. Actually, how does... Sure, sure. I... I don't have enough time, but I am also versed in polymorph. But mm, I just can't recall it at the moment. I'm sorry I can't be of more help. That's okay, Shar. That's, you know, as long as we can... Once we get these things on deck, we'll need to get them stored below deck as quickly as possible, so we'll need people on deck as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll make sure that the coordination effort to get them on board goes smoothly. Uh, perhaps I can discuss rigging with Esther. Indeed, and we should have a uh, a cargo lift, shouldn't we? A uh, crane? It was standard equipment on the sailing vessels that I was familiar with in the south. 
Your boats had cranes. Yeah, there's like there's like a rope and pulley system to put stuff into the center hold. It's common on sailing ships that have a hold. Otherwise, you can't like b get big uh, groups of supplies like barrels and such into them. Uh, perhaps so you got... don't have to ask Esther. All right, I'll ask her about it. Oh wait, no, no, Shar would know this. Um, so outside, Flix, I'm looking at the map here. Yeah. So this thing outside would open to let big things in to the deck below. Yeah, right yeah. Here. And there's yeah. like so there's there would be a, a, like a pulley, pulley above. Systems yeah. above them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how we'd get the stuff down below. So we'd have people like uh, Shar and. Uh, Esther, like, overseeing the pulley system, and then we'd have big, strong people loading stuff onto the vessel, and then the rest of us would be running overwatch and helping and whatnot. Yeah, makes sense. All right, then we... We're just waiting to get there. It sounds like we All have right. a plan. Well, I'm going to nap on this bed. Or at the very least, uh, take a moment to collect myself. I'm going to write some more notes about the elemental activity near Rhymefang Slayer. I'm gonna go listen to the guy in the storage. Quietly. Be nice, Arkin. Uh, Sai, what are you doing on the other side of that door? Uh, basically just short resting and hoping no one bothers him. Or thinks about him. <laughs> <laughs> or notices he's alive. Yeah, yeah, he's on the ship until he gets to the next port. <laughs> All right, uh, tiny, uh, excuse me, little bugbear claws kind of appear under the door as Harkin presses his ear against it. Yes? Ready for a duel? Uh, oh, uh, uh, no, I, uh, are, do you want a hammock? No, um, I don't really sleep, but I do rest and think and remember. <laughs> uh, well, we have hammocks that are a little, like, you know, off the floor, so you don't have to hurt your back. And, uh, listen, if you're gonna be in dueling shape, I'm gonna need all your limbs to not be frostbitten. It, you're just gonna be too easy. I, so I need you in tip-top shape. Or else, there's no honor in it. So, I'm gonna ask you real nice to get your ass out of that closet and into a comfortable bed so you can be in fighting form once we hit Maginox. I promised you I'm in fighting form right now, despite the state of my appendages. I didn't see any of that outside, Sigh. Ooh, burn. Damn. The Do pretty savage. objects go right through you, just like they go through the wind? <laughs> oh, you, you hear, like, like a scraping of, like, claws on wood. I just want to feed him up. <laughs> I, just want, I just want to eat. I just want to eat the kitty. I just... <laughs> <laughs> you had a sense about you. Not surprised at all. There's, like, a sniffing outside the door. <laughs> Yeah, uh, size not really that concerns by Harkin. And he stomps away. You hear his footprints thump, 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 thump. <sighs> Growling. He opens the door. Ah! Closes it. <laughs> Akashiba. You are woken up again by Harkin's frustrated growling. You just hear, like, a punch. Well, I guess maybe you wouldn't hear it. Akashima literally just fucking, like, strength check. <laughs> you wanted to hire him. Punches the wall. <laughs> what? Oh. oh. Son of a bitch. And then Akashima tries to go back to bed. Or can go stealth mode. <sighs> All I want is a nap. All right. And that is where we'll end today's session. Man.
It's so fucking hard to get sleep on this ship. <laughs> How? How? Rain, I'm glad you didn't get thrown off the ship. I am also glad I didn't get thrown off the ship. Although if it had to be rain, that's probably a preferable option. Uh, for retroactive um, editing, uh, Side definitely would have like stopped the gust of wind when it didn't really do anything other than that first round. So then none of the other player characters were blown off the ship. Oh, good. That would have been very inconvenient for everyone. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. <laughs> Honestly, Akashma would have probably taken getting blown off the ship over just getting domed repeatedly in the face. <laughs> Maze. Just gets blown off the ship, instantly turned into giblets because of the Arctic winds. <laughs> Fine. Uh, At least it's quick. <laughs> oh. oh, did everybody have fun? Everybody have a good time on your airship yeah. adventure? Yeah, thank you for including me. Sorry again for uh, being literally useless. Or negative. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> the, uselessness, the uselessness does not bother Flix. The obtuseness, it fucking enrages him though <laughs> which is fitting because like flix is also pretty obtuse so it's kind of like an ununderstandable object meeting an unreasonable force i don't <laughs> yeah Sai is very much thawing out right now so he'll probably have a, a pretty rapid personality shift uh as things get more stabilized trevor i thought Sai was hilarious I yeah it was fucking great it was fucking great yeah. Yeah, and your uh, your whole like song and dance about like speaking to the captain in maritime law. <laughs> maritime <laughs> law. Maritime so law. I yeah, tried I to add some flavor. Like bird law. What like is this the bullshit? Sailor, uh, the sailor uh, feature is ship's passage, so I figured it it was relevant. Oh. oh <laughs> <laughs> to be to be completely honest with you, Trevor, we are just just on this side of being sky pirates. We only followed the bureaucracy because it's our first time. Got it. <laughs> like you're you're, right. you're you're on thin ice, buddy. <laughs> Akashima likes him. He makes good food. <laughs> the good berries too. It's ah. like you've been gone from pa paprika for like four hours and you've forgotten what good food is. I mean, Akashima spent like probably like twenty some years out in the wild just fending for himself. So like Akashima has eaten a lot of food. That, by his count, is, like, perfectly reasonable nourishment. You would and absolutely food. recognize size stew is tasting like raw acorns, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is fine. It, it was terrible. He's a bugbear. He's not from the fucking southern courts, okay? He's that hoity toy. What did you roll on that? You rolled, like, a six to make it that was a six. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> All right. It's water plus heat plus acorn. <laughs> <laughs> God. What do you want? How fucking awful. Nutritious. You will not want to eat food for at least 24 hours. <laughs> and it's not clear if it's because of the nourishment or because of how bad it tasted. Well, it's pretty clear because it's how bad it tasted. Yeah. Well, if you put good berries in it, shit. It's That's small. just magic. You just ate magic. Ah, so the, the good and good berry is just a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> it's No, it's just Walmart brand good berry, so. <laughs> it's like okay berry. That it's, generic it's like, Walmart crap is actually pretty good. It's like Sam's Club <laughs> good berry. <laughs> <laughs> we Kirk bought it in bulk. Kirkland Kirkland signature yeah, you can good only take berry. Bulk. You can't create one at a time. So <laughs> every every good berry stew is made painstakingly and lovingly by Sai. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hope the stew gets better. Not the character development, just the just the <laughs> stew. The fucking stew. Yeah, I kind of feel bad for Char. You know, Char was, like, getting real excited and then was literally like, Ugh! I want to know where the fuck Char was during that fight. Like, Esther had an excuse. What was Char it's doing? Not a, Char's note? not a fighter. It's not, I didn't get the vibe that Char's she, a fighter. She can cast Polymorph, which means that she could have been casting spells to help us. I'm just saying. This is everybody's home. I mean, so Akash was just like, wow, Char is such a mature, intelligent adult. So that's, like, that's Char's job. <laughs> Shar's job is not getting hit in the face by, by maces. Ah, yes. Shar's job is to be an adult when yeah. everyone is a child. Exactly. She is <laughs> She is the ship mom. No, I, le legitimately. Because like, Rain's not going to fucking be it. Yeah, no. no. This whole ship is just like one of the old seasons of Real World on MTV, so like <laughs> someone has to be an adult. Well, that's cool. I mean, as long as Shar also remembers that she's an employee, because she was like... 
let me tell you guys how it is. And I was like, all right, I see what you're doing here, Shara, but... Uh... Next, you are the only one who's upset by this. Ah, uh, yes, but when you make yourself too useful to get rid of. Hmm. But yeah. she's very useful. Yeah, I, Shara's I got a lot of that. leeway for rain, from rain. Oh, Flix likes Shara a lot, but he knows that Flix, Shara is not fully trustworthy. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't think Akashma knows that. <laughs> oh, no. Shar bought me sippies. No, pretty much. <laughs> no, Rain Rain recognizes like Rain Game recognizes game. Like she's a she's an arcane spellcaster. There's like innate le like level of rivalry there. But for now, Shar's on the good side of like doing the things that are well more more well understood. And it's better that she's doing it here with us than, you know, out there doing it wherever the hell else she could be doing it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> up to Akashma and is like, oh, who's a big dummy? Who's a big dummy? And Akashma's like, it's me. <laughs> it's me. I'm the dummy. <laughs> oh, well, is, is Psy full druid or are you multi-classed with uh, rogue? Uh, it's multi-classed with fighter. Oh, with fighter. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. Without a plus weapon, I was like useless. <laughs> Even if I well, form, it still would have been mundane. That's something we can probably deal with. I need to keep the rapier or the short sword. I'll figure out which, and then we'll toss you the other one. You don't. You don't want the short sword. Uh, it's attunement. Remember? Oh, I can't use the. Yeah, yeah you yeah. can't Do use you have attunement slots open. Like, we can also. We can also just see if there's like a fucking resonant gem. Like we have a bunch of gems. There might be a resonant gem in there for him, um, and we can just get his weapon enchanted really quickly. No, oh, that would be good. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, that sounds all lovely. But it also sounds like he has some wish list, so he should figure out his fucking wish list before we start going through our stash. I have the wish list. Yeah. Where, where, where? My so, wish list uh, doesn't make me so, any better. <laughs> Nick, are you available on Sunday, was it, Christina? Yeah, Sunday. Um, Saturday I can do. This Sunday is definitely a game, uh, and one of the players is coming back from Sweden, and we're going to game in person so that's not one i can miss all right so uh, <laughs> we will not bonus sesh this weekend okay oh saturday is not available uh it is my wedding anniversary oh yeah so, so doing stuff bonus sesh so bonus <laughs> sesh. uh no no promises for saturday <laughs> All right. Now we'll that's actually your... okay, honestly, if we're gonna do if we're aiming for Monday for the other game. Yep. Yeah. What are you guys gonna do? Are you gonna go to a extra fancy restaurant out there? Uh there's just like this like winter festival thing nearby. It's like lights and so we're just gonna go meander about. Probably winter get some festival food. in that's Vegas. Not fun. Oh shit, that reminds me. I yeah. need to I need to check. There's like an ice rink and, and like... stuff. It's pretty cool. Allie and I are doing the LA Zoo lights thing, and I need to make sure that doesn't overlap with something. Nice. Right. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, looking forward to uh, playing more with you, Trevor. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Cool. Night, everyone. Good night. Yeah, it's absolutely a pleasure to have you. I hope you had fun. Oh, Bye, yeah, guys. yeah, no, uh, definitely made sense to be quiet. So, but I appreciate you guys uh, letting me join. Absolutely. Hey, next game will be uh, next Wednesday. Six o'clock. See you guys then. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. Good night. All right. And that's it for Arctis today. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, not be right back. Please catch us on YouTube. YouTube uh, slash Zarina Gaming. Watch the VODs. Really appreciate it. Give us a, a like and a subscribe. That would be awesome too. And if you're watching on YouTube, thanks. You're awesome. Hope you enjoyed the game. And we'll see you next time.